Welcome to the Ethos Podcast. Last night, girls can be photographers too. Oh, cool. Oh, Hashtag. Hashtag girls can be photographers. How would you promote that? T-shirts. Uh, March. Don't, I don't know. Yeah, there's a fella. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi, thank you. How are you? It's, it's, it just went all the way around. It's like, supposed <laughs> to be like the one introducing the, the episode and they would play. Yeah. So, welcome to the Ethos Podcast, episode 23. With us... Oh, three, right? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> with us, <laughs> we've got <laughs> Namkolo. Yes. I'll come back to her. And Moses. Of course, Muka, the big dude. <laughs> oh, you've been out for a while, man. I, I've been. Yeah. Like, I'm very... Rusty. Rusty. And maybe compensating. Hey. Yeah. hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, from what I've, I'm getting, yeah, photographer. Yes, I am. What else? Just that. Just, yeah. that, just that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically, just that. Oh. Mm-hmm. And, what do you think? What do you mean? What do I think? Yeah. What do I think? About? What do you think about photography? She's. I was. It's interesting. It's actually there's more to it than just the, what we see. There's actually art in a way that it is uh, conceptual and uh, it's also introspective to the person who's actually taking. I like I like where you've gone. Like, what type of photography do you do? Um. Kind of a uh, what do you call it? Jack of all trades ish. Okay. Yeah. So I have done let's see family events, portraits, corporate portraits, um, some let's see workshops, uh, weddings. So product. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. That's, Editorial. That's, that's wide. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a bit wide right now because I'm still trying to find what I like. Yeah. And what I'm actually good at, so it's just like trying it out, uh-huh. trying out like okay, what do I like? What do, what what don't I like? And Most of this sounds um, how can I say commercial mostly. Um, do you do your own kind of photography, like personal things that you post out there? Yeah, I love actually. It's like I actually prefer to go out and take photos of what I just find interesting, and then play with the photo, and then just yeah, create something. Or get uh, somebody, like what I did last year for, like, I had a Halloween series. I got a, uh, a friend of mine to, like, dress up as just, just normally, just in a white dress and everything. And just, we went to Unza Forest and we, I made it, like, almost like a horror pictures uh-huh. kind of thing. Like, I, I, I handmade a doll. Yeah. <laughs> just for that. Just for that, yeah. But it's supposed to be a creepy looking doll. So it's just made out of like... <laughs> An old, an old, it's made out of a, it was made out of an old shirt, has buttons for eyes, no mouth, no hair. <laughs> okay. It you of, which, which, uh, 3D animation was that? Um, number eight, eight? Something like that. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. The 3D animation, I remember. Oh, wait, Chucky was a 3D animation. But no. Chucky was CGI. Yeah. But, although that's even more scary. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think I remember seeing that. Yeah. That photo shoot though that was sick it was like a, a like a almost like a picture within a picture within a picture yeah they are concept. Both, so yeah so yeah. one of them was like she was holding a mirror so yeah. there was more pe- there, there was a, another one of her inside yeah yeah her side, there was a repetition there's one where like she's behind the doll but in the distance uh one where she's like kind of like phasing out of reality oh if that makes sense like kind of looking go- like a ghost uh-huh. yeah there's one where she's on the swing, but she's also holding the swing. Mm. Yeah. You should check it out. Yeah. I really want to. Because, <laughs> you know, usually when you see this, um, like um, some artists, very rare artists in Zambia, do these types of things, and mm. you don't get to see them. So I would end up, like, if you're on YouTube especially, like, just watching videos, trying to see what people are doing, you hear about such. Like, oh, I, I came up with this idea, I did this, I did this. You see the final pieces, you go to the... Um, 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 social media like Twitter and stuff like that, and you're like, "Wow, 
And then you realize in Zambia there is the same, most likely even more innovative because out there the ideas are dying out, you know? Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. So far, like, when, you know, the, you describe the general thing, mm -hmm. maybe how you walk through uh, weddings and stuff like that. It's, I think a lot of us know what happens with that. Awesome pictures, drones. You use drones? I do not use drones. I'm very basic, really. I only have okay. like one camera, uh, three lenses, but they're not too... Uh, yeah, they're not too special, but they do the work. Would okay. you consider yourself a minimalist? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I try, I, try, I try to keep it as minimal as possible. I can only carry so much, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> and also because I work by myself, I don't have anybody else to help me carry out. If I had extra equipment, yeah, it's, it's all me. Mm, yeah. Nice. So, do, you, do you do video as well? Not yet. Uh, it was actually a goal for the last part of last year, but um, but I, I'm, I'm terrified of video, for one. Uh, let's see, I, I feel like it's a steep learning curve. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a steep learning life. curve, and also I was also running out of space on my laptop, and that was just from pictures, so, and video takes up a little more, so... You yeah. kept in raw. I kept, of course. No, of course. You have to. Yeah. No, you can't if capture. One photo, like... 10 15 MBs. Oh, that's actually just you know normal because no, that's actually low. Because oh. if, like, because uh, let's say mine is an entry level uh camera basically, yeah. so it's like you don't really use it for high end photo shoots, really. You, yeah. ca you can use it like for basic, you can use it for weddings, you can use it for uh, family events and everything like that, but you wouldn't use it for like uh, for an Aerotel ad that would like go up on a billboard. You know, mm. yeah. So, um, so the biggest file that I managed to get probably about like twenty one MB mm -hmm. for a raw file. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So that's using like a crop sensor. Crop sensor is just basically uh, how much. It's not. It's not full frame. It's not full frame. Now, for a full frame, the 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 file will probably be in the forties, fifties. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> There's some cameras that go up to like one hundred <laughs> megabytes. Yeah. Yeah. For one file. Have you ever so. seen file formats like um, what are, what are those funny? They're like scary formats I've never seen before. Uh, like TIF. Yeah, I don't know TIF. TIF. I'm kind of used to like for print. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. It's where the cap uh, the capture itself on the camera oh, comes okay. out raw. Yeah. I've forgotten the names that are usually there. They're like some freaky names, different yeah. types, and you find them. Just that one file, it's a simple picture, If especially if you're an amateur like some of us. I, <laughs> yeah, played, yeah. I played once with uh, those large cameras. Useless picture, you see it, you're like... And then you pick the file, it's, it's huge. Yeah. Okay. I, I actually mistook it for D DLLs and games. Like those files you can't... you don't know what they're used for. Yeah? Just, oh, yeah. Mm, not even the ordinary photo viewers would open, open them. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very weird. So you... you on, I checked out your website. You, you actually say you are a portrait, event, and lifestyle photographer. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. for for somebody who says you're a minimalist, you, those photos look like you like have a crew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like you, was missing that was like, <laughs> I was surprised with, especially with that wedding where it was. I think it was at the beach, some sort, and was um, there was some uh, how can I put it? Okay, I've forgotten that. But there's the the shot you took at the Jamison show where yeah. you described that there was an ambience of some sort, and I would actually picture like glasses and everything and the oh. the the atmosphere and the the feel of the photo itself was not ordinary. I don't know if you 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 had that in mind before you took the photos themselves, or that came after after you took the photos during editing and stuff like that. For live uh, music, kind of for live music like uh, photography, it's actually exciting because it's like sometimes at the moment you don't know what you're taking. Yeah. It's only like after after you've taken the photo, then you look at it. It's like, oh, I actually got this. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's it's very hard to actually plan the shot unless yeah. you let's say unless you say that okay, I'm going to stand here to get this perspective. But maybe that's about what you're going to plan. Mm -hmm. You know, or yeah. maybe I'm going to take the shot above the crowd. 
and see where they get because the light in, the lighting is changing all the time yeah yeah so it's 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 hard to predict what the moment is going to look like right then and also because the the artist is moving all the time as well yeah it's hard to plan the moment so when you just get that right shot it's it's magic so like in that scenario let's yeah. say you have 10 shots out of the 10 shots how many would you take re- relatively out of the 10 shots mm-hmm. as let's say you're taking 10 shots mm-hmm. and all that is happening yeah how many of those 10 shots are likely going to be right uh you could actually have all of them being okay but let's see but maybe you could get one you can probably even have none because if you notice that when people go to the stage they're clicking away constantly yeah constantly because you're just trying to get that right moment you're trying to be at the right angle and just seeing flashes yeah. just seeing flashes and flashes yeah and it's very addictive it's it's so cool in the moment yeah yeah how long how long have you been doing this um since 2016 but 2016 was partially because i had a full-time job at the time oh. so i was only doing like weekends and maybe night time every every now and then it wasn't like i wasn't constantly booked yeah yeah so it wasn't like maybe like maybe twice a month maybe maybe i could go a full month without having a booking exactly oh. yeah but uh but, but now last last year was my full time as a photographer and it's been it's been good mm. yeah mm. so i guess yeah over over that time that i was doing it part time like there's people who came to trust me and kept recommending me and hiring me again and again and recommended me to their friends and yeah so it that really helps set, set the base roughly 3 years roughly yeah 3 years yeah mm-hmm. did you go to school for it no or? Uh, self-taught. Uh, yeah, self-taught. Ow. YouTube, YouTube taught. YouTube. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube is a must. <laughs> what a great time to be alive. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you started learning on your own. No mentors. No references. References. Like, with people. Well, with people, it was it would be off and on. It would depend. Like the first, uh, no, not the first one. The second Stanbic Music Festival. Uh, this was that was actually my. I feel like it was my first major show yeah yeah so i i met somebody called uh henry mm-hmm. uh, henry papier I, th- i feel like his name is actually Henri. like it's, it's a french name <laughs> oh, Henri yeah. papier from from kitu and he showed me like uh for night time just keep it like maybe at these settings and just take just like this oh. so he was the first one i met and i met some others along the way um mostly guys there's too many women in my field really yeah we were very 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 few oh, why would you think um i'm not so sure i think for i don't even know if women know that it's an option like they if they wanted to they can become a photographer and actually make it full time because even for me like at the time that uh when i was just part time it was just it was just distant like i could actually do this full time you know yeah. Because even then, I didn't know who does this full time, honestly. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it just doesn't come to mind that they can do it full time. Yeah. Do you think it's feasible for the layman? Like, just so that we have a perspective on if women can consider this as an alternative, mm-hmm. do you think it's feasible for anyone generally to just pick it up and. Yeah. I think photography is actually something that any anybody can learn. Yeah. It takes those who are gifted to actually produce something that, you know, extraordinary, mm, extraordinary looks like a piece of art. But yeah. basically, if, as long as you get the technical parts done, I think anybody can become a photographer. And industry-wise, it's not the, it's not that clustered like. Oh. <laughs> I thought I thought it wasn't clustered until I went for a graduation. Um, let's see. At uh, it was at, at, at Let's see, it was at the courthouse. Yeah. Yeah. And there were like, what, maybe about 100 or so photographers there, just at this one graduation. Yeah. So never mind anybody who's probably not there and everything like that. And also at the UNSA graduation, that's when you also get a fuller scale of how many photographers there are in the city. It's, yeah, so it's, um, there are a lot, but it doesn't feel that clustered, mm. you know? I think every, everybody can find their type of clientele and their niche and everything like that. And the people who trust them, it's it's big enough for everybody, but it's it's a lot of people all the same. Uh, yeah. If you'd say that, like, like there are tier levels, mm-hmm. amateurs, semi-pro, pro, 
um, like at the, each level, where would you think the greatest cluster is? <laughs> Uh, oh, what? I'm, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> considering because if you if you think about it, like sure. I'm going to jump into photography, right? Yeah. Where do I want to be? Like if I'm, if an amateur can survive, like working as a photographer, maybe that's fine. But if there's a lot of people who are amateurs and you're going to be doing their level of work, mm-hmm. do you have to up up your game in order to survive? You know what I mean? Huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think it it would help to. Have, that perspective i feel a lot of people like uh, point and shoot mm. uh, the ones who give you the pictures just after afterwards and stuff but the people who own their own companies they get into weddings i think there's people who just primarily do weddings and portraits and that's it they just do studio wedding studio wedding and that's just that, that's about it uh, so it's like i feel like many are probably like semi-pro Okay. Yeah. yeah, there aren't that many who are pro, cause, it, cause yeah, cause even in the, in the ones who are pro, you'll probably hear maybe how maybe up to less than twenty names mm-hmm. that you probably recognize. Okay. Then, yeah. Hmm. So how how did you get started? Well, <laughs> I told the story so, so many times, eh? <laughs> I know. So, cliche. Yeah. <laughs> so at the time when I was job hunting after university. Um, I need so I just put it out there on Twitter like hey I'm available to write for blogs and stuff like that even though I'd never really written for a blog but I, I could write yeah, yeah. yeah I thought it, would look good. it was going to be easy to just write and I, somebody took me up and wanted uh, a writer for an entertainment blog that they were starting at the time um, yes yeah, so uh, I got lazy with the writing. <laughs> and I said, you know, it'd be actually great if I could have some pictures to go with this. So I used to borrow my sister's camera to uh, take pictures at. Which camera was that? I'm actually not too sure because I know at one she was because because uh, there was a Canon that she used to bring, and also there was a Nikon at one point, and I can't remember which one was easier for me to use at the time. Were they um, DSLR? Yeah, the DSLR. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they were basic ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was it well, yeah, they weren't too complicated to use, but I didn't know what ISO was. I didn't know scanning. shutter speed. But Maybe it's a rebel. I'm actually trying right, to what, what's ISO? Sorry, yeah. International S- S- uh, Standards Organization. Okay, oh. ISO is basically how centimeters how, maybe. how sensitive your sensor will be to when it comes to light. Yeah. yeah so 100 iso is probably one of the bases where it's like you know it won't uh, sense too much light yeah so when you turn it up to maybe to say 12,000 that's probably be the brightest that your picture will be but it will come at a cost it's oh, like the, to be very to be very, very grainy the picture will be very grainy i like grainy pictures though speaking of art do yeah. you consider photography as like art yes no? definitely it is yeah an art form it's an art like form. Like a legit art form? Yes. Okay. I, actually, yeah. I actually think it's one of the easier art forms to say it is an art form. Okay. Like, if you're not using it in the standard way, like weddings and what, yeah, yeah. you actually shift it more to the artistic side of mm-hmm. things. Like, what you did with the... Um, the yeah. Yeah. Teddy and stuff. Yeah. Like, that's, that's art. Like, it's creation. Yeah, right? but I was, you know, I was asking that question because I was going to follow up with, have you ever, like, had someone approach you and be like you know like try to start an argument like this is not art you know uh, uh, I, 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 like i would argue that that point uh, no, yeah. no nobody's ever approached me because i haven't had like you know let's say a photo printed and put it up yeah. as my art yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Come and yeah. Critique and say no that i don't think that's it's not it's not striking me emotionally or anything like that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what does this what does this art piece mean yeah so Yes, it's definitely definitely an art, but I also want to create more. I, want to, I do want to create art, uh, art forms of yeah. my my photos yeah. at some point. Yeah, I love um, what do you call it again? Conceptual photography. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you have a distinct um, style to like your your name? Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. I, I don't feel like I do now. I'm trying to find it. Yeah. But I, uh, I want to know. I, I want to feel like uh, that it's actually okay, not exactly to have a style as mm-hmm. long as the picture's good, then it's good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of things. Speaking, yeah. speaking about creativity and um, it being an art, 
I, I guess portraits are actually very much about the subject, right? Yeah, yeah. And that is uh, one area that you would actually create something out of. You can actually visualize and say, oh, I want this to look like this. Yes, yeah. So kind of like leaning towards creating that that moment. picture frame yes, saying yeah. this is my art yeah, yeah. You it's, like, it's, like a, it's a moment captured in time yeah yeah you could al- you could almost time travel with photography you it's, can it's actually. magical in that sense yes because yeah. i find that i can my memory is better when because i can i can like even without number sequencing i can tell what time i take mm. not really what t- time i take yeah. the photo but which photo came before which yeah. one yeah because it's it just like be locked in my mind that this moment was before this one and that one and that one because for other people, maybe they won't know where, when, what time this picture was taken, yeah. or what sequence of events it was. Well, <laughs> if uh, that would be that would be hard uh, yeah. if it came to something like the mannequin challenge. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, it's like would. <laughs> you take five shots of someone completely still, and it's like, yeah, which moment came before Impressed, which? Yeah. That'd be a fun game though. It would be, but I think maybe if you had <laughs> micro movements. You just like, okay, I see they move here, they move back there. Well, just if, a if, bit, if, yeah. if you're that meticulous, then yeah. props to you. Like, I, I, <laughs> I think if I was to take such a fo- like photo shoot, I would look for those moments and zoom them in the picture just to annoy the guy. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't stand. <laughs> you're like, oh, well, this just is- imagine. You just, cha! The guy's just standing there, like, even a stone can do this. He'd be like, oh, this is the part where the guy got pissed. So this is probably like, it's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> peaceful and then, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, so like, um, there was some, when you were talking about the photo shoot you did, I didn't even know the Unza thing there is called Unza Forest. So. Yeah. I but thought you guys were like a legit, like, forest, like, 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 uh, like in a remote area outside oh, of no. Misaka. No, it's, it's, yeah. um, not that it's hard to find. Yeah. But um, they're very bushy and you may never know what to find. At least the Unza Forest, I know I know what's there. People study from there. There are yeah. actually people studying around us when we're there. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, um, but you can't ask them to move away. You just go to at least the part where like there's not as many people there. Yeah, and you just start taking. Yeah, so uh, like how, they, how, they, is, how is like the reaction in, in situations like that where you kind of like feel like you are invading somebody's privacy and, and everything even though it's a public place because people feel entitled yeah i came yeah, here first yeah, yeah so you need to leave no i totally get it so i just try to be as far of them as far from them as possible or if i do have to kind of get in their space i leave as quickly as possible like maybe i take one two shots and move along ah. yeah and just on that topic moles no you can't <laughs> You can't, eh? You can't. I really wonder it's, why. It's, a, it's not fair. It's a legal and also a security feature, I believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because, um, let's see, to have an identifiable building in your picture, you have to get a photo release. Or you have to get a property release from, the, you have to yeah. get permission from the management that uh, I, con- I, cons- I consent to having the, the, the building taken and everything featuring in this photo. Especially if they don't know if you're going to use the photo for commercial purposes or if it's just to... And as a security them. threat, how? Uh, security in the sense that maybe like uh, they don't want you, they don't want uh, their patrons to also be like feel insecure that they're people with cameras all over the place mm. and they're just taking yeah. photos. They could appear in them and then not know what the photos are for. Oh yeah. And, yeah, and, and like again, this, like armed robbers can actually view the same they can scope out the yeah. you know, but the here's, here's the thing for scope me, out the premises without you having to take a picture as well so yeah as in that's that's no, why yeah. I'm I mean, getting it you know I've, I mean, I've, I've, I've traveled it's, it's, it's pictures like, that at least I would be like okay this side definitely has no camera this side definitely yeah. has no camera oh I see yeah. so that's, but they could still do that they could, even yes. without having to look yes. at a photo no that's, like that's just, why I'm trying no, to get to this with social media and everything for instance you post it on on Facebook and probably followed by some guy who steals. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'll check. I, 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 I read this this um, Twitter feed yesterday of like a girl that took a photo of like her air ticket. Yeah. And oh, this yeah. one dude like, you know, um, 
got the reference number and yeah. like cancelled her flight. Yeah. Yeah. That's very possible. That's why they say that don't yeah. take pictures of your passport, yeah. or your tickets, nothing of the sort. Never do that. that Sam, or at least, or at least hide, hide, hide part of it where the vital information is. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Basically, don't, don't. I actually, that. still don't touch. So there you thing. go. No, listen, when you travel out, mm-hmm. you're a tourist. They don't bother you. No, like but you're using your phone. If, if for instance, check different. this out. Huh? Yeah. If you have a building like this one, mm-hmm. and somebody shows up and starts taking photos of your building, wait, 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 wait. Free marketing. How's how's the phone different? Um, because let's see. Okay, for when you ha- when you carry like a camera like that, people think that yeah. maybe it's probably going to be used for commercial purposes. Oh, okay. Like, are you going to uh, sell the photo, yeah. and yeah. then like they're not going to get any proceeds or anything. They'll be giving you permission. But with your phone, it's like they automatically think it's just for private. Yeah, but in Zambia, yeah, they don't but, allow photos. But, but yes, but I know it's for some cameras. Instagram like models. <laughs> it's like they take they take photos with their phones and then like brand themselves plus whatever product they're advertising on Instagram. So it's like if they do that at a more uh, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah no, I mean, for me as yeah. far as I know, open spaces are supposed to be open. Unless you clearly, like, you come with full gear, of course, then you're definitely coming for pro <laughs> uh, yeah, but activities. For, for, for somebody who has a business, who is actually doing that line of work, mm. he's supposed to get permission. Yes, yes. Now, so, for, here, for, here's for the line. It's okay-ish? Not really. It's supposed to be okay. Like, think about this. We go, the three of us, we're having a trip like it's been a long time since we're in Osaka we've been out for a long time so we go by the mall and we're like hey we used to chill here can we take a photo then you want to take the photo a security guard comes hey you're not allowed to take photos here and you're using this this is a cheap phone an (laughs) empty phone and I'm using this as reference because that happened with this useless phone no you can't take photos here with your phone (laughs) yes yes then that's weird now no as in you try it I'll give you a number of malls Nah. Anybody watching? <laughs> I'll give you a number of malls. Bruh, just, just go in town. Uh-huh. Pick any two big malls. Oh, okay. okay. We're not going to name them. I'm not going to name them. Okay. That, that won't be fair. No, but the funny thing is that our previous episode, I we took mm-hmm. some footage mm-hmm. of uh, the... I won't say the name of the mall. But yeah. yeah, it will be revealed in the episode. But <laughs> <laughs> Say, uh, say, I'm, I'm saying this because I actually didn't know about mm. this. I kind of knew uh, me having the business background and everything. I kind of knew that you have to get permission, but I am not using it for 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 commercial mm-hmm. purposes. Yeah. Actually, in here they don't care. Partly is the reason for the podcast, is they don't care. Whatever reason, even if you're just kids playing around, you have a phone and you're taking pictures freely. Mm. Yeah, and it's too much now. Let them stop, and they'll come for you. So this is still at the same mall. I have a feeling I know which one you're talking. Yes. About. Okay, that one. And I know they're <laughs> hiding things. They know that what? eventually someone is going to take a picture of them and they'll dig up all their dirty secrets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, okay, um, <laughs> How did I get this? <laughs> that took quite a turn. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, zero to hundred. There's yeah, a, there's some things that are a bit sensitive. Like where we expect to have some liberties, mm-hmm. you don't have them. Like we we don't even consider this. You know, America, the freedom they've got. I I would say they exaggerate their ne- need for freedom. Mm-hmm. For us, the little things that we have to take advantage of, we can't even do that. Yeah. You see, you see a, a woman being harassed by the mall. Nobody wants to step up and say, "Hey, she does not want to get on that bus." Nobody. You sound like you're talking from experience. Yeah, I am. Right? Like all these, I've seen this. It's coming from I've, seen, place. <laughs> I've seen this. Like you know, um, and one other thing about our society, something bad is happening to your friend. You don't want to support your friend. Instead, you want to blame that person. Uh, like there's that um kalikiliki mm-hmm. they've got this it used to be a dam then on one yeah, side yeah, yeah. so uh this bus driver is talking is like um ah these guys always mm, crying bomber bomber do, do they expect government to help them with everything and then i'm like those people are sleeping in water 
Like if you saw mm-hmm. pictures, yeah. you're sniffing and mad. You you want to make fun of them, and then others are supporting him. Then one other person spoke up and said, "Hey, they they are suffering down there." And I personally know what they're going through. It's mm-hmm. this, it happens all over society. You find people who are succeeding, like your photography. People see that you are progressing so well. You become so good. They are definitely. I actually know a few people in photography who would definitely step on you. When you try to step <clears throat> out of bounds, it's, okay. it's, it's a small circle. It's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. disappointing. Yeah, like, it we want to be free, but you can't, you can't speak out. Wow. Um, when someone sells me a useless box of flakes. You tell them, this is, this is some old stuff. And then the guy at the back is like, just buy it. It's between me and the person selling it to me. Why are you yeah. even stepping into this? You know? <laughs> okay. you, haven't, you haven't experienced that. Mm. <laughs> Over, overseer, just you, man. I know. It's a, even bad. You wanted to fight overseer, bro. <laughs> I've got my rights. Someone is serving me soup with with a fly in it. I have to speak out. Oh, 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 yeah. that, oh okay, yeah. That's, I think customer yeah, service. Uh, there, there's a difference. We we in in our society we don't like to see the positions we have. Mm-hmm. When you have an entity that's providing a service to you. Mm-hmm. They are not human. They are a process. They are an organ of something, you know. You are the human being who's going to suffer for the services they provide if they provide them the wrong way. Then you have people who are supposed to be on your side. A manager comes and you are supposed to tell the manager, hey, I need help with this. And everyone around you is saying, nah, this guy is just foolish. Are you going to get what you need? Mm. No. And that's how we end up with... Uh, poor products we end up with <laughs> it's, it all comes back to you having empathy for for people yourself yeah. so it's mm-hmm. it, it's kind of uh, a funny thing that most human beings do not have that uh, they do not care about what I, I wouldn't really say humans I'll say Zambians I expect no, more but it, it's, it's mm-hmm. not just here man mm. it's everywhere it's not just here. I'll give you examples. Like if you check clips on Facebook. Yeah. This is all photo, by the way. We're still on that topic. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, see, way, yeah. you see a South African mother yeah. with her kids. She's shouting at this um, boy who's, who's misspoken, like he's insulted her. Do you know what everyone else around there is going to do? This is a clip I saw. Do you know what everybody else around there is going to do? It's either they just stay quiet or they interact by helping her. You know? No, you cannot be insulted like this and what and what. Here, a woman is being undressed by thugs. I won't tell you what type of thugs. By thugs. No one is stepping in to, to help that person. You you want to tell me it's the same. Like, here no, it's worse. It's, 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 it's worse not, here. You saw this happen? Yes, I've seen these. No, I've, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen a woman being beat up. Mm-hmm. And we actually stepped in mm-hmm. and made sure that it was not happening anymore. Mm-hmm. And what you're, what you're talking about, it's like you're getting just a, yes, um, a clip on Facebook. Them, yeah. It's not usually it's, the case. This, these are the two clips on Facebook. You and I were different people. I'll give you an example of me trying to be a better person. Because that's what you are saying here. Yeah. A guy drops off of a bike on that, that uh, highway, um, the ring road. Mm-hmm. People were passing him by first. And I'm like, this guy is not getting up. There's something wrong with him. I go there. That's mm-hmm. when people are starting to come. It's, it's, it's understandable. Yeah. Right? I, I was but, trying that. But what you see on social media, mm. the things people are supporting. We're talking about social media. We're talking yeah. about the media, not you and me. Because uh-huh. there are a lot of good people out there. Even yeah. the way you're that's, expressing that's, yourself, that's, I that's, what, tell. that's what that's what I'm trying to tell you that these injustices happen yeah. everywhere. But people want to crowd with the wrong side. If on social media South Africa, when something bad is happening, everyone crowds to say, "Nah, let's protect the innocent." Here, when the crowds are coming, it's all for publicity or or what 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 do you clout? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like they forget that this person is actually suffering a thing. I'm, I'm just saying generally, the social media you see here uh, kind of depicts the mentality that is here. Everyone wants to do good. Mm-hmm. There is no place where 
I'll, I'll even say this even Hitler wanted to do good but you had a twisted we mind it, so yeah. way of doing it okay but on that topic <laughs> itself right yeah like um, this is for Carlo yeah. I know you're not like a journalist but are you the kind of person that likes to capture every um, unique moment like do you walk around with your camera just like in hopes of capturing yeah. some yeah. kind of special moment sometimes I'll, uh, especially the, when I just got my camera I yeah. went out to take pictures with it yeah but things that I'm a very shy person yeah <laughs> and also I <laughs> I'm not great with confrontation. So if some yeah. if I take a picture oh. and somebody who probably had their back towards me at first yeah. and then maybe they turn around because they heard the click yeah. and then they see that I'm holding a camera yeah. and then they yeah. say like so are you taking a picture of yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh no, I'm sorry, have, let me just I'll have, delete have it." Have you ever had that happen to you? Uh sometimes like uh um, but usually I'll try and ask permission first okay, like I'm yeah. taking a picture of you is that okay yeah yeah and then they'll be like okay yeah it's fine all right so yeah. my follow-up question is the the scenario that Muka described yeah. right mm-hmm. if you were in the midst of all that like vehement mm-hmm. and you you felt compelled to take a photo of what's happening would you or rather would you feel compelled to take a photo of what's happening there and then or <laughs> I would I would not feel compelled around. to yeah. to, t- to take a picture because that I know that's I, 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 okay to me it's inhumane yeah, yeah. like there's something happen there's an altercation oh. here and and then why why would I want to take a photo of that exactly yeah. like just like, a very terrible memory you remember there, there was the, an the, accident the one, with a truck yeah um uh, so the guys were still alive in the truck. Oh, people this. were you saw that I heard, I, I heard about that was just that was two days ago that's, that's no, two, no, it's an no. older, older clip was a, that, the one you're telling me now is new Tim House uh, there's a, a dude that jumped that like jumped out of his truck and then it uh oh, no. moved down about 21 people I think yeah yeah but that the one that I'm sure she's also remembering yeah they could have saved those people instead of taking videos and pictures yeah. like there was a fire starting yeah. where the truck had was it the one with the inmates no no not no, no. no i think no. it was they were delivering it was an oil truck or something that was delivering some dangerous goods mm. and uh so he, he the driver was calling for help yeah but people were taking pictures i i later learned that there were some people who tried to get to yeah. help but they failed to they yeah. came a bit late because the yeah. fire had started spreading a yeah. bit uh, yeah. further in so he died which was very and they had they had it on tape yeah that's the thing that's that's what i don't understand okay i i feel like i understand but it really shouldn't happen that you document you're documenting a tragic moment and you're probably like documenting the last moments of a person's life Mm. it's it's hard to the first the first instinct should have been are we able to do something you know like especially if you're seeing fire starting i mean something worse is about to happen and you just i don't know (laughs) These are weird times, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is very really weird. It's and it's not just here. It does happen, I think, in other places. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I think in Kenya, there was this really horrific one. They oh, no, an- no. An- another oil tanker. <laughs> mm-hmm. They uh, let's see. Okay, but this wasn't taking pictures though. They went another t- t- no, like, and then they went to go get the oil from yeah. the tanker, but then it yeah. it exploded. Wow. About sixteen people or more died. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, yeah, it was bad. Hmm. Okay, maybe this is just like digging into the power of uh, photography and videography because I think it's, it's, it, you wouldn't get to know these things happen without... That's the thing. That's so, 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 so it's like it's like a cash 22 in a way because yeah. you wouldn't be talking about it if, that, if that person... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And again, there has, no, to, it, there has it, to be a priority. You just if, if you were the first No, I, I do not justify it, but I'm just yes. saying that it's... It's, yeah, like okay, it's a weird like out of the worst thing, we yeah. still got um, information about the problem. Mm-hmm. M- maybe we can say that, but there still has to be a process. Like in yourself as a human being, mm-hmm. yeah. and it's what it's what I'm actually complaining about. I I know there's a lot of good people in Zambia. Yeah. yeah. But the moment it goes on social media, it always comes out so negative. I don't know what the purpose is. I don't know what we expect to find. Yeah stepping on each other's toes like when you just talked about kenya you just remembered um, malawi specifically they had this um what do they call it again it's, it's like human trafficking oh was it um 
there were ritual rituals mm-hmm. done with uh, albinos. albinos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was even here, it's actually happening. Uh, it's I I I don't know. I'm like I might be wrong by saying it's. I actually think it's like harvesting of organs. They sell yeah, the it organs is. and everything. Yeah. But they're they're saying ritual killings and everything. I actually in, in saw worst, in, a video of. Oh, yeah. Somebody getting like, I don't know why. I would rather not hear watch that video. I'd rather you'd rather hear, hear, that, see it reported rather than see yeah, it actually, yeah, yeah. Or even just better yet, just hear about oh, they have saved this guy from yeah, dying yeah, because yeah, yeah, they didn't actually remove their phones to film it. Yeah. So that's uh, in 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 line with being uh, empathetic, being mm-hmm. passionate about the injustices mm. uh, is is your photography leaning towards is there going to be a time where you advocate for a particular injustice or it's just you just expressing yourself and currently i'm still expressing myself but i would like to like uh, develop a passion for um is advocating for certain rights as a woman that's why i took pictures at the women's at the mm. women's march okay. yeah but like you know that, that's that's something i can easily relate to i suppose mm. but like it, it would be good to go outside myself and see like what else is there that i can probably help with because you also pointed out that in the industry there's very few women there there is very few so i, I would think mm-hmm. that's you already kind of in that mindset like when you, if you can point out such such things yeah. you're already thinking about them and eventually you should be able to drive in yeah do you, um in terms of like your photography mm-hmm. as you say it's like if you're going to direct it into a process i don't know what you intend to do further on like mm-hmm. you say you're thinking about it would uh anything to do with media um be a prospect no no. No. Why? <laughs> it's a bit, I think it would be a little too much for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. How so? Um, I don't feel like I've been exactly set in that direction. Never, I never really felt compelled towards that. Not really. But oh, so just creation. Just yeah. So just for me, it's mostly like creation, documentation. Not so much. You know. <laughs> that's why. That, 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 that's why I wouldn't really go into photojournalism. I mm. think uh, yeah. I I don't have the heart for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, yeah, or the strength for it. Aren't you getting vibes like you're an introvert? I am. She is. Huh. <laughs> what did you study in university? Microbiology. Oh, <clears throat> <what>? Okay. <laughs> we have a microbiologist in the house. Oh, what are you doing in this field again? <laughs> <laughs> it's more fun. Oh, you? sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next thing Absolutely. to put a telescope at the end of our lens. You know? Hey, that could be your trademark. I'd actually just, like to just do gave astronomy at some point. Yeah. Isn't this astronomy, right? Like just yeah. like stargazing? Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be Oh, sick. Yeah. I was... You know what? <laughs> Let's just stop right there. Yeah, he, I'm he's going to give the astro thing. Yeah. Uh, like, whatever he is, anything astro, stars, asteroids, what? He just goes... <sighs> Express yourself, <man>. No. <laughs> no! Go! Oh, you have to talk okay. about... Ah, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Just on, just on this... Um, there's a phone that the that's being developed. Which one is? Which company is it? It comes with a telescope. No, no. <laughs> like it, it, like you can extend up. it with a telescope. What is it? No, not not even a telescope. Like on its own, it's actual lens. Yeah. Um, it's the yeah, it's the pixel. Huawei? It's the pixel. Oh. The night shots are are so like you can do astrophotography Ooh. with oh. a pixel, and it's oh. it's got this processing that's really like. Well, the same. Yeah. Oh, I actually saw an ad for for that. Is it the same concept with the the night shot? Um, um where yeah. there's an ad that's going around YouTube that you can actually find Santa with a pixel. Santa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like picking up your cookies and stuff. Oh, yeah, like, oh, oh, okay. Dropping off gifts. The pixel the pixel is is very good for night yeah. but not video. Is that the Google Pixel? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. But not video. <laughs> Yeah. Do you think mm-hmm. mobile photography? Uh, in fact, what have you? What have you? <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to get into the question, Sorry, what, yeah. but I want to know your position first. Uh-huh. Mobile photography is it legit? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
Yeah, no, I think it's, it's actually a thing. It's actually kind of cool that you actually that you can go with as min as a minimalist. You yeah. know, I would love if I could if I could do everything that I can do on my on my camera on my phone. Mm-hmm. That would be awesome. You know, I just go there just like just have just a bag and then just taking everything. <laughs> just switch the lenses every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. it's it would be much lighter on me. But yeah, so. Uh, no, I don't think they're going to surpass DSLRs. People always want to buy cameras. Yeah, yeah. For, Especially like yeah. night shots, you always need the full frame. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but the one hundred and eight megapixels have come to phones in twenty twenty. Dun dun dun. Yeah. No, but uh, you guys talked about. I don't know anything about standards. Yeah. When it comes to cameras and everything. Mm-hmm. You guys uh, dabbled in. Uh, ISO and, and everything. Shut is speed. that yeah, is that is that is that what separates the phone and No, no the, the phone can also do shutter speed, speed ISO, yeah. everything yeah. like that. It can everything. Yeah. yeah. I have you sure demonstrated but <laughs> it's a digital. Mostly digital. It's mostly digital. Yeah. yeah. But there's some things it's just like, you know, it's not the same as cradling the camera yeah. and actually like you know even, um, e- even just the lens wise like you, you'd never be able to take the same kind of picture with an iphone like as a sports you yeah. know at, at a sports event you know because yeah. you're out there in the crowd even if you got as close as you could you can't take a picture of somebody who's maybe at the corner that side. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You 50 need... times zoom on the... Uh, yes, <laughs> Huawei. Have like, you ever like that? <laughs> it won't be the same. Yeah, I know. I say, it won't be the it same. It won't be the same. The feel, bro. I, about, I have faith in it's mobile about, technology. Have you it's ever about, 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 not even as fast. I don't think with a camera you can go with, like, what, 4,000... One yeah. of a four thousand shutter speed. I think one, one of the eight. I've only seen three one six hundred on that phone. How much? Three six hundred. Three six hundred. On that phone. On that phone? That one right there? Yes. Really? Yes. I, I need a demonstration after this. I'll, I'll yeah. show you. I'm, yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll try to, I'll show you anyways. That's it's, okay. That's no problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But most phones can't uh, go no. that high. No. Most phones can't go that high. Mm. But I don't think they're replacing. No. The, yeah. only, the only chance they had was that with that Nokia 808, yeah. where they started using a larger sensor. Because mm. what should stop the these same DSLRs from having? Because right now the DSLRs with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, yeah, Bluetooth yeah, the the LCDs, mini computers in them. What yeah, stops yeah. them from making a DSLR with a calling function? Boom, but that would be weird. That would be fun. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. I think well, why? I think Leica might be doing something like that. There's a phone. What about Red? <laughs> All right, uh, well, let's let's go old school here. Have you have you ever used a Polaroid camera? Ever walked into oh, no, a dark room? No, but I want to buy yeah. one. Yeah. I really would like that. Can you say instant gratification? Yeah. Where like, you take a picture and then the photo comes out. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the digital digital can make you feel quite lazy. Sometimes <laughs> the, most of the times the pictures will just stay on screen. Unprinted, yeah, even then I, just even right there. I shot that, it was a mistake, it's fine, delete. Delete, yeah. But yeah, then, yeah, paper, bro. Yeah. You think yeah. about it first, like, wait, I what can't do I want to do? Yeah. Because <laughs> they're not cheap, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the paper, especially, is not cheap. So you can only maybe buy 10, 20 at a time, that kind of thing. So you have to maximize your shots. Mm-hmm. It's like, I want it to look this way, I want it to look that way. Okay, I want to capture this moment. If you say, if you're going into yeah. the street, like, I want to capture this particular frame mm. you know the way you're and, talking yeah. i'm now appreciating all our childhood photos <laughs> yeah. Yeah. those guys are experts yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. but also yeah even apart from a polaroid i'd like to get a film camera a film because camera. for the same concept that you know i can plan my shot but it's cheaper than a polaroid mm-hmm. yeah. what what brands are you considering for film Ooh, let's see i'd love a fuji film but mm. those are a little bit like they're expensive, even mm. though it's 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 a film camera, but it's expensive. Like the G seven. Yeah. It's just four hundred dollars. <laughs> that's more expensive than my DSLR, <laughs> and that's a film camera. Yeah. So I think I'd get uh, one of the older Nikon's. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I'll suggest for you? Mm. Canon M fifty. Why do you want me to go to Canon? That <laughs> that one specifically huh. is not a DSLR. Yeah, no, it's a film. Mm-hmm. But mirrorless. 
Wait, but they have, it's they got a scanning. high level focus. It's uh-huh. it's got two sets you would love for video. Wait, are we talking about film or are we talking about uh, mir- mirrorless? Mirrorless, but it's good for video. Oh, okay, no. For like video. the key feature is the way it handles video. Oh, okay, all mm. right. Then no, that I can consider. Mm-hmm. It's video. affordable. It's just five hundred dollars. <sighs> Yeah. Now we know how Moses feels. <laughs> <laughs> when no, we're talking about code. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. exactly how I feel but right now. Yes, they are like when you can't when you talk about those numbers, that's actually affordable mm. if you're actually, you know, getting dollars. Mm-hmm. But you know what rent to think about and other things to think about. So I don't have that much expendable income. Okay, what's the target know? for your film? This is interesting. Someone moving from photography going to video. So yeah. what's what's what are you targeting for video? Like, what do you intend to capture? For video, I'd love to do music videos. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I feel because um, I think because of growing up listening to music and always watching music videos and like I want to know how they did that. I want to, I'd like to create something that's you know different, not so like maybe like an indie music video. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so, um, what I just you? raised. No, yeah. <laughs> I actually think yeah, you can just shit. start with a what do you call this? A cheap phone. You can like do it with uh, a phone, yeah. iPhone seven. IPhone. Perfect. Perfect yeah. for video. Mm-hmm. Uh, because with with visual storytelling actually it's I find it easier. I'm not a photographer, but I find it easier to tell a story with pictures. Mm-hmm. I think you have a knack for photography. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like you're w- you're, you're better than like the, the average person like if, you, if that's something that you had to like pursue i think you'd like flourish in it you know i was yeah, asking, I, tried, I, yeah. I tried taking pictures he takes me to good sh- not 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 i don't know about pictures but no, like videos pictures. videos, videos. videos. Yes. Yeah. He's, do, do video yeah, yeah. Oh, like he's, he's yeah. delving into it or just just delving yeah he's very good just at the beginning <laughs> what was that you did uh in december there was a clip you did that you shared what was oh, for the own. for the song that you recorded. Oh, uh, uh, I took a shot of Chuck. Yeah, I didn't know you could do those effects in Filmora, and then you just went ahead and yeah, yeah, and I just that. Actually, Chuck introduced me to to Fimora and we I just shouts out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, so you bought Filmora? <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> Isn't there a free version? Yeah, there's a free no. version, but it's limited. Do you know what? DaVinci Resolve is free? <laughs> Don't panic. Sorry. DaVinci Resolve. If it you're is. going to video, that's a good it's one free. to go for. Yeah. Ah. Oh, okay. I'll take. Okay. Yes, please. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Then there's the pro <laughs> version, which has its own added features. Like mostly, they promote the gadgets. Mm-hmm. What, what is the what gadgets? gadgets do they have? Which company is it again? I'm trying to remember the company behind DaVinci Resolve. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, is it? No, it can't be Sony. I forgot. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later. Okay. I'll tell you. Yeah. But it's but very good. Like, it's it's even in Hollywood, they're using it. Oh, yeah? The Da Vinci tools, yeah. Is that the one that's more compatible with uh, Apple? Yeah, Mac uh, that's, people. That's why. Yeah, I think, but, no, I had looked it up and then I saw, oh, there's no Windows version. Okay. There is? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. I checked. It was like... So I thought they ported it. Yeah, I thought yeah. they did. We'll check that we'll out check, afterwards. Check yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's it's a good tool. It's a good tool. Where did but you... if I discover it's just Mac. <laughs> Get an iPhone. Oh, a, a MacBook. Where, <laughs> where, where did you study uh, microbiology? Unza. Oh. Yeah, so okay. that's how I know of the Unza forest. Ah. Yeah, another oh, okay. parts of Unza that can be used. Unza is actually a, a great place to learn photography. Yep. Yeah, as in like you just want to go for like aesthet- aesthetics. Yeah. Because of what the buildings look like, they're kind of old and everything. Yeah. They have a great yeah. old. Yeah. yeah, old. You have people old. around who who very likely would want to have pictures of yep. them done. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I wish I'd done that there. Yeah. Do but they offer that? They offer they thing? offer mass media. Yeah. Mass media and communications, but but, but like uh, more on the creative side of things, like like artsy. I don't, um, I don't know courses. if they do, I no, don't they don't, right? no. Why Not don't that they I support know the arts? The arts is a bit of a dicey topic, but people are coming around to, mm. to it, yeah. I just heard on radio that uh, there's an insurance company that is, um, let's see, I think it's Liberty Insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah that's going to uh, 
let's see, sign, sign an MOU with the uh, National Arts Council okay. so that artists can actually, you know, apply for insurance and, yeah. and stuff like that. And Yeah, because yeah, I mean, they're doing that in Europe and Canada. Like, mm -hmm. you could actually get a, a grant to, yeah. like, work on an art project, be it a game, you know, a film project, some, whatever. Yeah, like, that's hope. Yeah, that's yeah, hope. Yeah. Well, we're, we're getting there, man. Fingers crossed. Keep, because I think keep, keep the faith. this is probably the highest generation with creatives, to be honest. Yeah. Because yeah. That, it, it, I think it's what people were just left to do because the formal employment sector was just be, was just becoming harder and harder to, to get Clustered into. Clustered and yeah. the corruption that's there. <laughs> 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 I've got a problem. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, the corruption is that the president has said himself, like you know, the, that there are some corrupt practices right now which he wants to get rid of. And he yes. will. And he will. In we believe one year. he will. Uh. <laughs> okay, and one other thing yeah. that's that that's that, that's imp uh, encouraging a lot of creators. Yeah. Microbiologists are becoming photographers. <laughs> No, but that would be an interesting. Uh, one, one of the innovation. things I wanted to ask you, in line with uh, visual storytelling, because mm -hmm. for me, I see it as uh, not really uh, of a. It's kind of a niche that is very artistic in a way. Like, yeah, for instance, yeah. uh, Spielberg, the mm -hmm. way he shoots his movies, yeah. Kubrick, everything is. Planned yeah, and, everything yeah. has a purpose. Everything yeah. has something you you can get from it. Yeah, but even anime as well. I've, I've just yeah. looked at uh, this. Uh, there's this uh, anime that they've made it's called Cut Soup. Mm -hmm. mm, there's no dialogue. Oh, there is at some point, but when it starts out, it's just weird. It's strange. It's, it's, it talks about death and the the, the guy who made the just forgetting his name, the same anime, he says it is open to interpretation. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, he's like, he has a purpose for it, he has an interpretation for it, but a lot of concepts are behind in just one scene. You can see a lot of things. It just starts out, a cut is playing with them. Don't ruin it. When did you get into this anime? When Chuck was here. Okay, I was, I, was, I was about to blast at you and say, well, why am I only finding out about this now? <laughs> Two days yeah. ago. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so, fine, it's fine, it's cool. You, you, I'm actually regretting my fine. silence. I haven't been very communicative, mm -hmm. but now I'm paying for it. <laughs> no, but the, the point I was trying to make is that mm. visual storytelling, like I said, it's very artistic. Mm -hmm. It is. And you find that in that niche, it's like you becoming a rapper in a way and you need to find that uh, gap that you're feeling in that uh, videography world or visual storytelling mm -hmm. visual story storytelling storytelling story telling. <laughs> are you are, are you more of like an abstract yeah. photographer like I do you like to tell stories or is it yeah. is it you know what this is open to interpretation. to interpretation and like make of it whatever you want yeah. to make of it i haven't really done so much into the just uh let's see the art the art form itself yeah. i'd love to actually have more time to do it yeah but i but i have to pay the bills yeah yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah we all do yeah, yeah. Uh, but when i have so far uh it's just more or less storytelling mm -hmm. i'd love to be able to create something that leaves it open to interpretation yeah. because i yeah. think that in itself is is a gift to yeah. actually leave something just open to interpretation instead of it looking scattered and doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's why when yeah, when I get into more conceptual photography and uh what you call it again, there's another C word. Where like, you know, somebody okay, somebody <laughs> is uh like flying a cloud. Yeah. Or somebody, yeah. those kind of yeah. Abstract co 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 abstract conceptual. composites. Composites. You know, composites. Oh, oh yeah. composites, okay. Even cool. fine art. Yeah. yeah. So those are the things I want to play with. I want to play with just different elements and just let you... Like when they put a whale swimming in, swimming in the sky, mm -hmm. you know, it's yeah. like, I've never thought of it that way it's before. more of my cup of tea. Yeah. yeah. So it's you, you're going towards composition, so just leaning, you focusing on creating 
another world basically uh, I, want yeah. to, I, I want to recreate another world with, with my and that's what i was trying to do with the game yeah, like like yeah. me, like me messing around with like the parallax view uh, you know yeah. like those that perspective view then it changes to like oh you design the game it, yeah it, then it like switches to like orthographic right yeah so it's like from 2D to 3D. It's like you're in 2D space, but the 2D character doesn't know that he's in 2D space. So then uh -huh. he discovers that the, his, he can actually access the Z axis, right? Uh -huh. like, wow. like we exist in 3D yeah, space. Yeah. My character, the game character doesn't know that he exists in 3D space. But you as a player can see that. Yeah. And then you can actually get to manipulate his movements across the Z axis. You know, it's, it's, you it's, it's, hard, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, but like, I'll have to show it to you. Yes, yeah. yeah. But yeah, oh yes, yes, I have to explain. This is like the first one we're going to show a lot of things after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to see everything. No. <laughs> well, I didn't carry it with me, by the way. Oh. But I will show it to you somehow. February. Right? Send you a video. Mm -hmm. No, there's actually videos of it online. Yeah, Just yeah. search for Stellate on S Facebook. Stellate. Yeah, S T E W -L, L A T E. Okay, Stellate. Yeah. Right. Right. yeah. It went. Yeah, but but this the microbiology thing is like <laughs> sticking in my head. What? <laughs> Why? Why? Explain. Okay. All right. Explain. I, I basically grew up without a passion. I, I suppose I liked science. I liked English. I liked French. I like. If I was good at it, I liked it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> basically. Yeah. yeah. So, um, when coming to university, at first I wanted to become a vet. Because I love animals, like I said earlier, before, yes. I'm an animal animal person. Except cats. But in retrospect, I probably wouldn't have got wanted to go into that part of the animal world because it's very, <laughs> it can be it get very disturbing. You know how? Uh -huh. In the sense that, um, for like my my stepsister right now, she's actually becoming a vet. Uh -huh. So when she told me of the stories behind the scenes, I'm like, you know, it's okay. I didn't need to do that. Mm -hmm. When you come like you know surgery. Uh, having to put down an animal because you know they're just going to suffer more. Would you, know? you rather perform surgery on on an animal as opposed to like a human being? No, no, not neither. <laughs> please, I don't. I don't want a life on my. Two hands. two choices. <clears throat> probably probably the animal. If I've learned yeah. sufficiently, yeah. yeah, probably probably the animal. Yeah. Because well, <laughs> a human, they just, just yeah, it's yeah. It's kind of weird. I I always feel the same. Like you would want to like see. The intestines of an animal. I think As opposed to a human being? Like, I, 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 I prefer, I prefer to work on an animal, yeah. Like, I don't want to know what the human being looks like yeah. inside. But with, with especially animal, up close. With an animal, oh, yeah. it would yeah. be... Okay, I would but I've heard stories that people pass out. Of, like, yeah. medical students... Like yeah, the first was, time. Yes, I'll probably pass out. I can't even kill a chicken, man. <laughs> it's funny. Because you're used to seeing a human body intact, mm. right? You, 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 don't, you, you don't know what goes on inside. And then all, as soon as you cut flesh, and then you're seeing that, oh, we're just meat. <laughs> yeah, that will mess with your mind. That we're it just meat, does. basically. Without us, like, you know, acting the way we do, without yeah. our souls yeah. and everything, we're just meat. And you, you can't unsee that. You can't unsee that. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, this, this is scar for life. I cannot get into that field, yeah. man. Because yeah. that's, I cannot view. I mean, for instance, just the fight. Like, if, yeah, I actually think I'd be very like, good if I went into medicine. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah? yeah, you have to be a little bit crazy, honestly. I think I am. Just a little bit. Because I, I have a friend who's a doctor, and yeah. you know, like, uh, she says that uh, people would like to go into the emergency, would like to intern at the emergency room. Because that means everybody gets busy, you know. Because there are always patients coming in for emergencies. Yeah. yeah. Especially with, it's, yeah. Has anyone ever watched Grey's Anatomy? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The way um, what's her name? Uh, the Asian girl. What's her name again? What's her name? <laughs> I don't know. I've forgotten. I wanted to say this. I'm drawing a like, black no, as well. Not, let's not l let's let's talk about um, yes, Scrubs. <laughs> Okay, anyway, the way that she loves surgery, like, yeah. you know, like, for her, that was her realm. She yeah, used to get yeah. excited to yeah. do surgery. I'm like, I don't know why I get excited to, open you know, up open up somebody. People. And, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. that, that, I'm not that, getting that, a reaction. I'm, I'm okay with uh, surgery. See, you know, I remember her name. I remember her name. Bro, I'm not okay with blunts. 
I for know. A, no one but but you're like the biggest UFC guy. Yeah, right? that's the funny <laughs> thing because yeah. I know that is controlled chaos. That is controlled violence. No, not really. Right? Like just, surgery is controlled. Just recently, I was I was watching this video of like how the brain moves when 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 when, when like just got impact happens. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. if if you bash your your head or something like. Yeah. The brain moves like jelly, man. Yeah. So well, I can't watch like when MMA they the, canvas, the same way like, anymore. Because it like it, it, it like wobbles, man. It's like yeah. that's what I have in here. Wow. Like, yeah. I, I can't watch boxing. I can't. Yeah. watch I can't watch uh, American, American football. football. Yeah. yeah like, that's no. that, that movie. The, the yeah, exactly. Will Smith movie. Yeah. Con- yeah. Concussion. Why? Concussion. Why yeah. This yeah. conversation is becoming very photographic. I picture things. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 oh, yeah. Humans are naturally visual. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah, naturally mm-hmm. visual. Naturally I need to trade audio. in my d- mental DSLR. <laughs> I wish we could actually take pictures with our eyes. That would be the ultimate. Actually, this I think there is an, an experiment with that using electro. What? I'm not surprised. Yeah. Isn't Elon Musk working on like neural? Yeah, that's neural link. Yeah, that's supposedly supposed to like integrate man with machine, mm-hmm. making us cyborgs and giving us like. This, uh, do you know there's a lot worse out there? there. Yeah. Like um, the way you think about cyborgs. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm not. I'm not trying to say the 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 disabled uh, who get those things are cyborgs. I'm just saying the technology has become so good it integrates so well with. Yeah. But we are all technically cyborgs because we are feeding the machine kind of. The the fact that I have your information on the cloud and yeah. I can easily like access I can access your information via the cloud. So yeah. that's a part of you. On the cloud. Oh, in the cloud, oh, wow. making you a cyborg, like you are attached to this thing. Where's so the matrix? Like... <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> but it will get worse. No, no, yeah. Will it? Even your, your glasses, they should be Google glasses. They might Wait, be. Did, did they scratch those out? Uh, mm-hmm. They still, still exist. They still, they still exist? exist, but not really commercial, I think. Yeah. But they're there. Like, okay. they're... Part of that is being integrated with this uh, AR, VR thing. Like those... Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... That would be interesting. They still look at... Man, I've been traumatized. <laughs> but, but I'm still thinking I heard about... that if you, if you had to like fall... Like, like, uh, like... Something from else a... to picture. <laughs> oh, you still talking about organs here? Yes, yeah. Same. <laughs> from a plane or like a Just high point and then land on your feet. Like yeah. if you, if you had if you fall from a plane and land on your feet, like your brain would just melt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like even even like yeah. falling onto like ocean water, it would yeah, be as hard as yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to fall vertically, and no, not, it's yeah, that's no, that's yeah, that would, yeah, re- that would yeah. reduce yes the surface if, 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 area. If, if you land on your belly, it 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 will yeah. yeah. bust open, yeah. bust open, like yeah. so. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> why why did we need that? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> that came into my mind. Underwater photography. Ah. Yes. Yes. Have you, have I, you ever I, done the, it? It was actually one of my earlier desires. Like I would oh. love to do underwater photography, but it's hard as heck. Mm. And also, like you need to have the your gear. the gear. Is do you expensive. have the the courage to like scuba dive? You you can swim. I can't swim, but yeah. the thing is that I uh, I love water. Yes. I love Shame. being I love being in water, so. I think learning how to scuba dive for me will be actually easier than actually learning how to swim. Yeah. If that, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Because yeah. even like when I'm in the deep and I like swimming under, underneath, hmm. rather than a, a, rather than above. Or you, you could do, do the swim. submarine. Yeah. That, that's yeah. a bit more expensive, more expensive. Yeah. So you do swim. Not only one percent of the ocean is, is has been explored. So. Like a submarine. <laughs> okay. It's fun. It's just it's a whole other realm. Yeah. You know. It's like okay, but so, so it's like okay. I can't breathe here. I wish I could breathe underwater. That would be awesome. Yeah. So I would love to do underwater photography. There are actually experiments on that as well. Yes, they are. Underwater breathing. We're going. Yeah, We're I've going seen there. that. Those experiments <laughs> again. There was a picture that I saw of these ultra ultra divers. Yeah. You know who will like go like even up to like fifty to hundred meters swimming down. I'm like I don't understand how you're not the being pr- killed yeah. by the pressure. You know? Yeah, like, it's so deep. It's like, like the the mental fight is. Yeah, mm. and these are like free diving. They don't really and have gear on. training, you yeah. really have to be top notch. Yeah, like just your eardrums. 
Mm-hmm. You have to. I think you have to plug your ears. Or yeah, something. I think they so do. That's that has to be something. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because the, there was one time I, when I, <laughs> I was yeah I was playing in the deep end, mm-hmm. and then it was like which, I can't remember which pool it was. It's about three meters deep. Mm. So I so I went on the ladder and like just lowered myself down. So I like I, I wouldn't like you know, be stressed about swimming up. So went down, went down, went down, and I already started feeling the compression. And this is probably a, like uh, just a little bit, bit like below a meter or so. Yeah. And I panicked and I just just like no 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 no. <laughs> yeah. They say yeah. we we haven't explored, uh, more than five percent of no, the yeah, ocean. No, yeah, we haven't. Yeah. Like there, there there's like a. Uh, a level that you'd get at where you'd actually start to implode. The actual and the, yeah. depth. And they yeah. say yeah. that's where, you know. Uh, yeah, like imagine, things imagine happen. things exist uh, from the surface. Like if you're waiting with the water. Doctor Yang, Christina Yang. Yes, Doctor Yang. Yes. Thank you, you Christina. Yes. Christina Yang. Yes. <laughs> oh my so God! Yang, I'm, I'm getting old. What? 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 Yes. yes. <laughs> Very old. <laughs> you missed it. Love surgery. Okay. Sorry, Mokka. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Doctor Yang was actually. Uh, a marine biologist or something. No, they so could be a marine biologist. They could be. Very likely, yes. <laughs> they could be. I actually wanted to go into marine biology. That was one of my fa- one. That oh, was sick. one of the first things I wanted to do. But we don't have a sea coast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that would have been like, uh, what do you call it? a hobbyist career? In a sense, because now, because now, because now you have to like you have to look for funding. Mm. It's it's not. I don't think it's a cheap venture. But no, no, it isn't. But <laughs> such courses still get you far. Like the ones we do. Aerodynamics and whatever, aerotech, aerotech, aerotechnics. What? I don't know whatever the word is. I'm yeah. Trying to, I'm trying to remember aeronautics. aeronautics. Yeah, yeah. 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 they would actually end up in South. Some of the course, guys course. I've met have gone that side, yeah, like course, they're yeah. captains and stuff. And mm-hmm. you got friends? Yeah. Could we actually time? know maybe two people there. High school? Yeah. I want to work at NASA, man. Connect me. <laughs> <laughs> she, she wants to do astrology. Yeah. Cosmology, yeah. cosmology as well. We want to build new worlds. Cosmology. I thought cosmology was the no. It's not. Was the. Was the one no? That's um. Astrology. Astrology. Cosmology. It's not cosmology. Cosmos. No, no cosmology. cosmology. What's the one about the stars and everything? The astrology. Astrology. Yes. That's the, astrology, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll talk about astronomy yeah. and cosmology. Yes. Okay. Learn about the cosmos. All right. Yeah. All right okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. Serious words here. Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah, we're talking about the death, huh? Mm. Yeah. I want to change the, it the a ocean. bit. I want to, like, it's the obvious thing. Like you go deeper, you have to be a bit harder on the skin. And the deeper you get, the bigger the animals get. Like the well, whales, they go. Yeah, the Loch monster. Yeah. yeah. So you'd expect mm. at the very bottom. That's unique, though. In the Scotland. Lo- the Loch Ness monster is yeah is. In the, in the lake. Nessie. Mm-hmm. Nessie, yeah. Do you believe in that legend? I, I, I like Let's not even go as far as like, yeah, uh, like yeah. 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 Let's yeah. talk about here, the Nyami yeah. Nyami. Have Nyami. you heard of the Nyami Nyami? I have heard of the Nyami yeah. Nyami. Yeah. And you know, I, I'm actually open to like believing. Like, if, if somebody said like we actually saw it, it's like, you know, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you look at it in like biblical context as well, like, I think time God was talking to to Job and was telling them about like the beasts of the, of the sea and yeah, whatnot, yeah. like Leviathan and whatnot. So it's like, yeah. yo, who are you to like discount that, you know? Yeah. And if you're create if you're created by a creative creator, mm-hmm. why would you limit your creative it's creator? Yeah. Right. I mean, just look at the insects, bro. Like, right. The, the, have you seen insects with uh, shells that look like stones? Yeah. It's very weird. And they look like sticks. They're, They're flying like... spiders. I've been discovered. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm Why spiders. did spiders have to get I worse? Don't mind, I don't mind spiders, but I probably like spiders because they don't fly. Flying is just too fly. much. Flying is it's like cockroaches that fly. Oh. They can fly. Now they can fly. <laughs> yeah. Only in Australia. Wow, well, that sounds like <laughs> Star, Star Wars. Australia. One of the things. Of one of the things they're advertising in Star Wars. Yeah. Fly they fly, fly now. They fly now. They fly now. <laughs> the stormtroopers. Oh. So they. Yeah. They must be the spiders. Okay. What? What? <laughs> Wait, I missed that. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, we've come yeah. to... Standards in photography. Yeah. Oh. Uh, are you principled uh, to, to a degree of like censorship and morals? Uh, uh, 
if someone were to come to you and be like, yo, like, oh, I, I want to pose nude. Oh, by the way, I have a first load nude shoot this year. First, was it? Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I've done two. In Zambia? Yeah. Uh, why yeah. Why did you move like okay. that? For I art, don't why for, I don't for, for art, or? for themselves, but one 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 person got really artsy with it, and I really yeah. enjoyed it. It was it was weird because it was a guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> artsy as in poses <laughs> and yeah. Okay. No. No, but most right. most of it is censored, but yeah, it was a, it was an interesting shoot, I'll say. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, it's art. 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 Yeah. Uh, do you believe in censorship as far as art is concerned? censorship uh, nice see, nice i feel like i, I do feel like there's a, a there's a line probably somewhere okay mm. yeah uh I, I don't i personally <laughs> don't know where it is i just said like okay for me personally i wouldn't go past this one yeah some other people probably go past it yeah yeah um, were, were those photos shot for a personal thing personal Okay, that that's it's like a rude, it's always weird when you get that call, yeah, right? They're not even on my laptop anymore. <laughs> but what if what if they said uh, these photos are actually going to go into magazines and going to be shown on TV and stuff? Um, a R T. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, I'm collecting it to like, censorship. It's, like it's if on... it's private, mm -hmm. what you do in private is private. But they're just yes. looking at like the laws and like rules and regulations and like in, in, in Zambia, in, like, in in Zambia. Yeah, yeah, you know, like. But then, as far as like pornography is concerned and whatnot, it's like it's illegal. So if that happened, and then it's like, oh, who there's, not, dis there's yeah. not distribution. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, so so I guess that answers yeah. Muka's question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was so uncomfortable with Muka. You you did it. The photo shoot. Yeah. Like I was wondering, oh, you know, when you when you look at the oh, at David, you, you edited the pictures of like David Angelo's. Uh, art, you edited right? pictures yeah. of models. A R T. <laughs> David Angelo's models. <laughs> like I, I always wondered how he felt. No modeling no, everything no there. For them, that time it was normal. Yeah. You and know, it wasn't, and and I think even during that time, every everybody was trying to push the boundaries in some uh, form or another, some form or another, especially when it came to art. Yeah. People were kind of like unbound. Yeah. Here, I feel, uh, during these times, I feel people are a little more bound, I guess, than than those times, you know? No, no, what about your personal experience with that mm -hmm. moment? At that moment? My personal... How did you... F yeah, an introvert. Like, like yeah. I, I am too, even though I sound <laughs> loud. Are you? Are you? Are you? Though? I've changed. Yeah. Mm. Like, in that moment, were you shy? It was like the first few, I think maybe like the first two minutes it was like, okay, okay. So did you, did you just so start like, hi, you're the one taking the photos? Yeah, she was like, having a I, I was shooting like. somebody else. It was, it was like, yeah, I was shooting somebody else, somebody else for another shoot. But he was like, hey, like, uh, I would like to do a new shoot though. Like, well, would you be open to it? I'm like, you know, yeah, sure. Why not? I was like, okay, so I'm just going to change. It's like, oh, you mean right now? <laughs> so, yeah, so it was right spur of the moment, basically. And uh, it was, yeah, so it was pretty interesting. And you, you I, I got over it, like, you know, when, as, as the moments went by, it was just like, you know, it's it's a human body. I'm already here. And, yeah. Convincing yourself, man. Hey, oh, gee. Oh. <laughs> my, my, my biggest question is, mm -hmm. Would I ever want nude pictures of myself? What? I'm like, people. Maybe he was trying to make a statement. I mean, I don't know why I'm so uncomfortable. But like in the world of DMs. Mm. Um. Oh man, wrong no, but I mean, I mean wrong. He, no, as in, <laughs> if if that's the case, then he he did not have to hire Carlo to do that. Mm. Yeah, Effort. in that case. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. But, Maybe it was about to press I don't know, I don't know yeah. what would happen if you'd want to, like, you know, print it yourself and have it in your no, home. Man. I don't know what happens after that. <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. So, 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 would you consider that as wrong if, if, it, if it was between a married couple? Like a new, the new no. truth of a married couple Actually, and yeah. they want to pick well, up Well, I, I, I don't know about you because I don't know where you stand as, you far, as, like, as, as far as, like, your faith is concerned, but, like, we are believers, so it's like yeah. here's my take. Yeah. Whoever 
wants to take new pictures of themselves and say hey this is going to be cute we're going to look so cute and adorable in our birthday suits i'll be like so you're cool with nudity you're comfortable no with nudity. look you're look cool as, a, as in you you doing it for your that, that's the thing like it's between me and her yeah. and she's like i want nude photos of us why as in, you have to ask the question why, right? Okay, okay. Like, I was, I was reading this. Yeah. No, on, the thing ahead, is, man. it's all sexual. You understand? Yes, exactly. So, that's what, this is what I'm saying. So, like, so like, sex. It's not always sexual. Mm. It like, yeah. if you ever find the courage to look up nude photos, not not look not nude photos per se, but nude art. Oh yeah. 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 You see that the human body is just like you know. You're just posing. It's not like you're posing in, se- in a sexual way to entice the person looking yeah. to have sex with that with your subject. <clears throat> it's like you've seen the human body in such an art form. It's like, oh my gosh, this, this is... Yeah. This is no, I, has been doing see, lots I of see, art. I, I saw some of these yeah. pieces yeah. Yeah. last week. We're going to talk about bring them. Okay, I'll um, bring them here. And in, in term, okay. <laughs> so 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 the, what, what the I'm Christian saying, aspect yeah. of it, as yeah. in why why I was saying mm-hmm. it's sexual. We are not encouraged to expose ourselves to such imagery. Like it's, it's but but comes, then but then sex is meant to be enjoyed by the two, by, yes. by, by the two, right? Now here's so, the thing: no, yeah. images yeah. images are one very critical thing in the scriptures. Once you've made an image, it's an entity on its own. You understand? So like. She wants to see my physique, the whole physique. She wants to keep a memory of it. She sees it though. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, but also wants to keep a memory. You're not going to be like that forever. Mm. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, so, so it's it's a between the two. Yeah, it's I think it's valid because they do see each other. <laughs> I sound like I'm advocating for this way. Like, oh, I'm arguing. <laughs> no, I think, but no, yeah, like. But the, the idea, actually, the actually idea, argue, like every every step you have to take, like I'm going to do something. Mm. There is always an agenda or a purpose. Mm-hmm. So, if no, if the purpose is no, okay in right. in this aspect, yeah. there had to be a reason for going for this. It's an extreme position. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just I want I want us to have nude photos. Um, like hey, remember that time we took nude photos? But 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 you know, like, <laughs> you check, you check it's between it's between the two. Yeah. It's not it's not it's not a religious thing anymore honestly like you see each other like that you keep photos of pets family yeah, and stuff you know that some people right? have like a hard time yeah like for me personally getting it on right and they kind of Ooh. have to you know about that right like people yeah. go through problems like that in marriages and whatnot. so using using that as yeah an aphrodisiac basically kind of like 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 instead of like going online and well, it's this topic. I don't know. <laughs> no, anyway, yeah, so, we'll no, it's, it's it. fine. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, let's talk about it's it. A, yeah. It's an so, extreme so, so, position. So, so, so yeah, like instead of going online to like watch other people do it, you would rather it, like okay, so lose like your is it's like saying it's like saying <laughs> it's like saying <laughs> it's like it's like saying using personal porn versus commercial porn. Yeah, because that's because and is it is it porn in the end if it's between the two of you yeah you using that so to like just you would also say it's a home video or home photos yeah, yeah. it's it's it, but then but then it's between oh, yeah, yeah that's the thing it's because between, it's it's between the two of you i would yeah. say it's it goes beyond yeah what is scriptural strictly like that's that's a couple it's between the mm. two of them yeah and for us as christians where you find such a blur yeah it's not even a blur it, it gets clarified by God himself. So, the scriptures, the Holy Spirit, that's where you turn to. But someone from the outside like me, yeah. I personally would never. And if my wife then yeah. says, let's do this, I will say no. It might be a preference thing as well. It's, it's, it's a preference thing, yeah. thing yeah. mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. Because people, they're, they're but, strange but, people but, out there, but man. But be so, careful. It is still yeah. a spiritual thing. Like if you if you decide to take such photos, yeah, they mean something. They like why Most did definitely. you why yeah. did you decide to go nude versus wearing shorts, for example? <laughs> the biggest fear would be like uh, someone exposing them. You know. Like, yeah, you know, I think that one is now a bit out of exactly. Uh, 
Because and that's another fear, and I would never want to compromise myself. What if you, exactly, like you get into a fight, and then she's like, "Don't want to expose." You, know, <laughs> you, you see, you see, too much leverage. Like, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Okay, let's 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 consider Adam and Eve. Dun, dun, dun. The um eating the fruit, uh, led them to, t- turning, away, turning away from God, right? So it it was the beginning of sin, isn't it? Yeah. But because of the fruit, they started wearing clothes. Ah, okay. So between a wife and a husband, they were ashamed. Between them, they are valid to see each other nude. Yeah. With that knowledge, it is between the two of them. That's why even God was okay with them being nude initially. So, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, it's oh, like, yeah, that's, it's that's, like that's, 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 in yeah. a way, because for me, I see it as you realizing that being you being aware of what's going on, you get the point. Hence, the forbidden fruit in a way that where you being conscious of Nudity. what yeah what's wrong and what's right and everything like that. You being aware of your selfish desires, because way back it was just. God's bidding. Oh, we'll do this. And yeah. also, like, should have had photography back then. Yeah, we should have. If you if you consider the idea of a cookie jar, I know some of you already know what that means. But anyways, sex is forbidden between the two of you. Between you, you don't know yet what sex is. That's Adam and Eve. You don't know yet what sex is or what it does. And I have not yet given you the procedures of handling sex. But then you eat the apple. Now you know about sex. And you know you're naked. And you know you're turned on by each other because you're handsome and you're beautiful. But now you're married people. You've got married people. This is in the valid um, circle, like the valid place. Yeah. They have the right to see each other in their birthday clothes. No, but... Okay, in, in line of Adam and Eve, my knowledge is quite shaky on that. But mm. what I know is... For me to actually be free and salvation is for me is, is about being free for myself, mm-hmm. being uh, this person who honors my neighbor, who who is conscious about what uh, I'm doing to myself, kind of like what I'm seeing, what I'm feeding myself becomes me at the end of the day. And free, real freedom is being free from your from your desires, from your selfish desires, from things that would hurt your loved one, would hurt your neighbor and everything like that. So you being free from uh, being just, um, how can I say? Killing it? kryptonite. Yeah, kind of like. <laughs> but well, how, how, how is it, of, like in this, in this case, we're talking about yeah. a couple mm-hmm. saving Nudes. Hey, gosh, you talking about? Okay. I, I thought that's where we we are. No, oh, hey, come on, thought, okay. For me, I like I want to see that, the because you, every, every day I'm sure you're a couple, you're married. Yeah. The 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 sacredness of uh, sexual arts in that home is within the the parameters. The, yeah, yeah, the bedroom and is within the two of the two of them. It's like you know about oh this is what my partner does and this is this is like their this is what i'm saying it goes back to a preference thing yeah yeah so i think yeah. ultimately <laughs> it's preference yeah it's preference but so i would recommend for people who are traditional like me <laughs> you're married oh and someone goes people, like uh, uh, pretty messed up as well man. no i'm, I'm just so saying on this topic I'm, on this yeah. on okay, this okay. part okay. let's not go into those yeah, other yeah, messed yeah. up things yeah your wife says, let's take photos. That's me. Your wife says, let's take nudes. I'll be like, no, no. You can go nude now if you want. I don't care. But no, I'm We're not, not keeping photos, that. Yeah. When you turn 80, I'll still be happy with you. The way you are. Amen. I'll remember. If you want me to remember, I will remember <laughs> with all my might. I'll even sketch you if you want 50 years but from now. I don't even know if it's F- 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 Sketching. Uh, are you... No, no, no. That's the thing. If she wants to see no evidence one. of how we used to look, I'll sketch it because it's in here. No. But keeping those in a, 
and also using them to for sex. Okay, this is the last topic we're going to touch on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Colo, um, yeah. if you're at liberty, are you at liberty to like disclose where you stand as far as like what you believe in uh, regarding like faith? Um, I'm borderline agnostic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's just like it's asking like, questions. Yeah. 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 It's like, uh, well, it's like, I I think maybe because of my previous faith, I still believe like you know there's a reigning entity. You know, I can, yeah. I can still believe in like, you know, the universe and karma yeah. and things like that, you know, yeah. as like putting out uh, good vibes into the world what, and yeah. like, you know. What was your previous? Uh... Christian. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, so now it's like, uh, you, you're not sure, right? Uh, yeah, that's first, what, yeah, what? Yeah, basically. Like, what oh, I don't know. what yeah. sects were you in? Baptist. Baptist. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that's strongly Baptist. traditional. Yeah, Baptist and Catholic. Not it's, all, it's always Baptist and Catholic. Not Reformed. Like. No, I don't think so. Yeah. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know. It, did, it wasn't like the Reformed Baptist Church. It's just Baptist. Uh, yeah. So whether it was Strictly Reformed or not. Uh, traditional. Uh, so it's I just was Catholic. Catholic. Yeah? Uh, mm. My mom's Catholic. My dad's still Baptist. Mm. Yeah. So is it something that just came with age? Like, it's something that did come with age. Questions? And also yeah. exposure to other people. Yeah. Exposure to, you know, uh, people of very different backgrounds and mm. also just like information information from the world yeah you know yeah so yeah so it's like low-key i'm some sometimes like conservative in some ways yeah yeah, I'm, yeah. i guess in the sense i have i, have, I was like l been learning how to be liberal <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah in, in, a, in a sense like you know you know why why is there a board on this it's actually fine it's not yeah. taboo it's not this it's not that you know what drew you away from being christian um because of its exclusivity mm. it's like saying that everybody else is wrong we're all right i'm like i'm like there are good people who probably have never touched the bible or mm -hmm. there are people there yeah so there are people that are out there who have never touched the bible people who have never uh, encountered human interaction ever there's uh there's some tribes in the amazon who have who are still living the way they have been like thousands of years yeah. and everything but they, they can't be reached because the amazon forest is so dense people know that they're there but they can't reach them mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so it's like what's happened to them what happens to them you know so but things that the, um. it, it's so it's so it's so ultimate about like Either, either you believed or you didn't. Yeah. And if you didn't, so yeah. the, the issue was on inclusivity. In a sense, like, or, or was, was a member of the party, kind of. In a sense, yeah. And also, like, uh, yeah, who's a member of the party? And, and, like, just not being open to, we might also not know for sure, for certain, what's, what's going to happen, what is happening. Because, like, even now, when I see somebody talk, talk with such surety, like, for example, let me talk about Kobe Bryant, who yeah. just recently passed. Mm. And somebody made the comment, like, do we know if you believed in Jesus? Mm. So I'm yeah. like, me now, I'm like, why would you ask that? Maybe past me will be like, valid question, you know? So mm. it's like, com coming, coming to just have a little more heart. Mm. I, I but you know, as a, as a Christian, I would, I would yeah. also ask that question. Yeah. Why do you need to know? It's, it's no longer between us and him. It's now between him and God. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think the problem, I'm just I'm just saying, like, if, if it's mostly inclusivity, I know there is a lot more. Like, just the stance of most Christians. Um, okay, like, for example, what's your take on homosexuality? Uh, they're humans. They're like humans. Like, everybody, yeah. Mm. And... It's been there for a while, and animals do it too. Mm -hmm. And sex is not what's the word? Uh, yeah, also exclusive to like one. It's it's not just for reproduction. It's also for connection. It's also for people use it as a bargaining tool. People use it for different kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So because because sex is dynamic, right? It's, but what made you feel like they're exclusive? 
I know I brought up this homosexuality thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was that the the us versus them mentality. Yeah, I think you, know? you were exposed uh, yeah. to most of those. Yeah. You know, there there are a lot of Christian sects that have this um, strong stance on heaven and hell. Yeah. Like the ideas sometimes even go beyond the scriptures themselves. Yeah. I would tell you, like, if you were to. Just, I think you, you're a person who explores a lot in this type of thing. Like, mm. human connection is part of your experience in life. Like, mm -hmm. what you'd like to learn. Because for, for you to even come as far as saying, <clears throat> animals are also homosexual. Like, some, some, animals, some species. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It, it really shows that you have an interest in knowing how connections are made. Mm -hmm. Like whether humans or animals and what yeah um, so, yeah <laughs> so in terms of exclusivity that, that 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 feeling only comes when someone comes to you like me if i come to you and say i'm a christian strong christian and uh your friend for example is a homosexual mm -hmm. and i go like homosexuals are going to hell mm -hmm. that statement itself is not christian yeah. But the scriptures do say God is not happy with homosexuality. Mm -hmm. So you now ask me, because now I'm not I'm not the guy who came to you and said homosexuals are bad people. I'm the one who tells you, I actually know that statement is not Christian. Mm -hmm. But what do I mean? Mm -hmm. The scriptures or God is not happy with homosexuality because he has his ideas of sexuality, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. He has his plan. So it's now him you and me in the conversation mm -hmm. and then i'll be like when it comes to me and your friend comes and goes like you tell your friend this is this is my friend muka and i'm like oh is she your friend mm -hmm. you expect us to talk right yeah i'll be like yeah i'm, I'm her friend i'm the christian you're the homosexual that's cool you know mm -hmm. and then she your friend is now going to ask me what do you think about my stance my position i am homosexual i didn't choose this i'm like that's what you believe and that's fine but then if she asks me why she can't be christian i'm like the scriptures say this that is god not me and god tells me to tell you i love you yeah. you see they mess up that yeah, communication yeah, yeah. it's 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 nah, a very straightforward thing yeah it's yeah. supposed to be straightforward like you're still supposed to show love to anybody, any, anybody yeah. like irregardless of like their stance on things yeah and it's okay uh, to not know what's yeah. going on it's yeah, okay. I, 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 yes, yeah i yeah, cannot yeah. i cannot say i am me being a christian i cannot say i know we, we don't we don't we don't know everything this yeah. is where faith comes in so it's, yeah. it's like a faith in in something a faith in in what you in, in your in what you believe in yeah because yeah. for example yeah. if i was very strong in the stance of uh, what god says in terms of homosexuality yeah. and i met your friend instead of coming off on that person and saying god says it's sinful you're going to hell and instead of doing that i have faith in my God and what he says. Yeah. I just have to be loving to this person. Exactly. Because the scriptures are powerful enough. God is powerful enough without me. Why Why should I start uh, <laughs> spreading hate and what? Unless she asks, is, is homosexuality a sin? I'll be like, yeah, the scriptures say that. But you are not comfortable yet with that idea. And you don't even believe it's true. And that is fine. It's, it's, it's up to you. It's your choice. You know, and I know you don't, you didn't choose your homosexuality. That's what the, most of them will say, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, that's fine. And when we interact, if you feel I am okay as a human being, maybe you will consider what I'm saying, and maybe you have uh, questions that you need answered, and maybe you ask me why the Bible says those things, and maybe I will explain them instead of just jumping to the gun yeah, and but, being and hurtful. The, yeah, that seems to be like the trendy approach, mm -hmm. if I may. Like the, and, the, the, the concept of like uh, perfectionism, mm -hmm. if I may, yeah. Uh -huh. And that totally defeats, if you're a Christian, that totally defeats the idea, the idea, the idea. of like Christ, because Christ yeah. was here and he was... He came he was for this. Yeah, yeah, he was ministering <laughs> to like the, 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 the corrupt tax collectors yeah. and the prostitutes, and then he was, you know, he was shunned and like looked at with... With, with disdain by the Pharisees, like, oh, yeah, you know, hanging on with prostitutes, it's like... You, you know, like, you know. on social media, like, YouTube, there are a lot of these, I've been watching these videos about Islam, and 
Yeah, then uh, there will oh. be there would be those topics about the same homosexuality. Some of them would come out so strongly against my stance because they, they would notice in my statement I have a Christian stance. And I'll be like, oh, wait, you were arguing with. Yeah, I've, I've had interesting you? arguments uh, with people. So I'll be like, um, yeah, that, that's what that, that's what he's been about lately. Oh. Like that's some place I can run to where nobody is going to come on my business. Yeah, anyways, um, in uh, they 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 would expect me to be right there on the on the hall and like, ah, simple, whatever, whatever. And I'll be like, if you want to talk about it, mm-hmm. <laughs> let's talk. If you want, like, there's one, one very strange place. People who, that's, that's the idea of inclusivity. It's a very yeah. strong feeling. And that's why you were driven away. And people handled you wrongly. Like, what, what should stop you? Let's, let's just put the scriptures aside for a moment. And I'm not saying I'm doing that. My mind is always on that. But <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> on the side for a moment, right? Yeah. Someone comes to me. Uh, I'll give an extreme one first. She's she's bleeding. She's cut up and stuff, and she's wearing the rainbow thing. That that symbol. I can't help that person. I can't take that person to the hospital. I can't care for that person. Mm-hmm. Or you see a girl crying. She's like, everyone in class is making fun of me because I'm homosexual and stuff. You're crying. What? I'm anti-human. I mean, to like, what's the moral of the story behind the the the, the good Samaritan? Yeah. I mean, it's it's same, 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 same concept. So yeah, just yeah. just the way it is. You don't need to feel excluded from something that's expecting you to be included. Yeah. And the scriptures themselves say, hey, there'll be a lot of people who will say, Jesus, 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 but very few will get through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if I talk to that homosexual, I, I tell them homosexuality is a sin, she should ask me, did you last today? Because if I did, we have the same sin. There is no brand, there is no label. It's all sin. And if every day I have to choose to get back to Christ, to get back to Him and say, I present myself, this is the wrong I've done against you. And if I had a strong conviction, like I'm homosexual, right? And I really want a relationship with God, I should not be offended by the scriptures saying, I am sinful. It already says I'm sinful. Even when I think I'm perfect, I am wrong. I am sinful in whatever perfection I think is. It's imperfect to God. So I have to come to him either ways. If I'm homosexual and I want a relationship with God, I will definitely present it to him and I'll be like, God, this is what I believe and this is who I am and you are not showing me who I'm, who I'm not or who I'm not. It's between you and God. Why should yeah. anyone else come up? To you and tell you you're sinful yeah you're wrong in, in in line with that and for me I f- christianity is all about a personal life yeah do you believe that there is uh, enough mercy for like a homosexual though yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what makes you different from them for, for, if, well, um, yeah like like yeah. like if, if you 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 just commit a different yeah. Type of sin. What exactly. makes it different, from, different from yeah? So even so it's like oh, because you're homosexual, you're going to hell. But no, you, you you're corrupt. Like you, yes. you steal from. You judge. You judge people. You yeah. lie, and it's like, but then you're saying mm. a person doesn't go to hell. So it's like yeah. <laughs> with a log in your yeah. eye. You so, got so it's like, a yeah, log. Yeah, in line with with we it's, gauge it's we gauge it. Cleaning up yourself, mm-hmm. cleaning up the mess you are. Yeah. That's when you can be able to clean up the world. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. that's what's that? Uh, let he who is without sin speak first, or something like that. Uh, let with yes, let's, let's uh, throw this. Yeah, uh, cast uh, the cast the, the first stone. stone. The butcher did. Yeah, yeah, the lady that was caught in adultery and everything. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's all about that. It's it's about yourself. Then go and make disciples. It's not about. You just read, oh, Psalms says this, or oh, this. You are wrong, guy. <laughs> Prepare. You struggle. <laughs> yeah, you, you struggle. Because, yeah. like, for me now, uh, I, I understand how you were excluded. Mm. But my question would be, like, you already have a sense of the supernatural. You already have a sense of a higher being out there, whatever it's it is. It's been like that all my life. So it's, like, mm. hard to, can you say, unlearn that, mm-hmm. in a sense? 
I don't I don't even think you would really want to. Do you know just uh consciously in, I don't know. If there are psychologists out there, please explain this. You can do. We we always <laughs> <laughs> we always look for a higher person, yeah. whether it's a person or higher idea. You know how people die for ideas as well. Yeah. Yeah, they we always fight for something that's above us. Even if we want to be on top, we always want something there, something to look up to. That idea doesn't just come from nowhere. It's part of our design. Yeah. We cannot escape that. And for many people, we we'll go through life by questioning what that idea is. So the moment that exclusivity feeling, that exclusive feeling was being pumped into you, you are being drawn away from a core concept which you did not even have a chance to explore. I don't know when you left the Baptist. When do you think that was? That was, jeez. <laughs> while ago. Anyway, it's just in your like, teens, basically. No, somewhere in my twenties. Because uh, it's a life journey. Imagine yeah. you, 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 you spend your whole life examining yourself. You're studying microbiology. You didn't even know you were going to be a photographer like during that period, right? Mm -hmm. So you are spending your whole life learning about yourself. And you know, like, whether you accept it or not, I'm talking about other people as well. There is something greater, whatever you believe it is, and you are spending time learning about yourself. How much more time do you think you need to learn about that greater thing? Mm -hmm. And then people are just distracting you with the noise. It's all nonsense. For me personally, nowadays, I'm just like, you've, you've got the scriptures, yes, and the scriptures say sin, sin, sin. I say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And if someone really asks me, what is sin? I'll be like, this is the scripture that says it. If someone comes to me, a homosexual, say, and I'm a priest, a homosexual comes to me and says, I want to marry my boyfriend in the church. I'd be like, the Bible says this, read it for yourself. Tell me if you're going to do it in the church. Why would you do that? It's about your personal relationship. What do you know about that higher being? Whatever it is you decide to, to learn about. And if you're distracted by fellow human beings, <laughs> you lose the picture. Because instead of looking up to the light, you're looking at other people in the tunnel. It's all going to be dark. And you know? I also think it's not about just the church you, you've been brought up in. Mm -hmm. Because it, it talks about, the, the same Bible talks about iron sharpening iron. Yeah. And for me, that tells me like things, like like-minded people should hang out. Mm -hmm. Even as a collective, as you in being, society itself. So. Yeah, you being Christians, you should be aligning yourself with the people that are like minded. Mm -hmm. That you are like minded with in the same. And uh, just, just, just get this. For me, for right me. now, if you, if, you, if you listen to the other podcasts, I'm very passionate about this, <laughs> this section. But it's very calm right now because there is a similar stance that you and I have right now. We both see that place mm. where religion, not, not, not Christianity, yeah. mm -hmm. where religion separates us from God, whatever your idea is, but for me, that's God. Catholic, I had questions. I had a lot of questions, you know? And apart from my same, my own sinful nature, I had questions about my faith. I had questions about what it means to be Catholic. And some of them were not being answered. And some of them were just like, mm, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And where, where, where did I turn? The scriptures. Because I was really learning about the scriptures as I was going. And imagine the scriptures, I see that passage and I have friends who are homosexual. I see that passage that talks about homosexuals, um, homosexuality is sinful. Though that same passage also talks about, um, what is it? Sexual immorality in terms of promiscuity and stuff like that. Yeah. All of that, that's not just homosexual, it's also heterosexual out of mar marriage. Then I read that and I'm like, nah, you know, why? It's, it's not necessary. For me, the next time I meet someone who's in that position, I can be open with them. I'll be like, it's, there was one gay guy who I didn't know was gay. Uh, he started hitting on me in my group of friends 
and then he wanted to get me alone with him i had to tell him off but it was a very weird place because i'm trying to be as sensitive as possible and he knows how strongly christian i am but he already knew he already knew oh. he already knew but uh, you know this this is the this is the fun part how are you going to love someone if you've got prejudices already mm. Mm. so that homosexual was comfortable enough to talk to me even thinking possibly they could turn me <laughs> i'm just saying i'm just saying so if i didn't have enough love in me i wouldn't have turned him down in a way where he accepted it you know instead of me going to him and saying that's i can't do that it's sinful filthy Ugh, get it off my skin i'm just like i i don't roll that way and you know you know because we've already talked we've interacted you know that's not me but i understand your position and the next time we talk i'll be a bit aware a bit more secure but were you flattered by the way <laughs> I've been talking by two gay people. And how do you feel about it? The first one was very scary. The second one was like <laughs> Why was it scary? Was like was he coming on too strong? Or like okay. were, you, were you just like or did you imagine the act in itself and then you got scared? There's there's four of us here, right? Yeah. Then the conversation has it, these two are against me and you're like the sideline. Like you're not really involved in the conversation. So both of these guys go like, so what do you think? Now I should go with Muka. Every time, you know, like, mm -hmm. I didn't see that. I just thought he's just being a cool friend. He's a cool friend. What? You didn't realize that he was... Yes. I thought he, he, he was agreeing with my points. Oh. I didn't know either. Oh, that, no, oh, it's, oh, it's weird when it's being done to you. Yeah, like... Like, me, yeah, I because think, we do that, it's like we like a girl, and yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, uh, yeah, I'm with yeah. her. I'm with oh, her. So, so you do photography, yeah, I like, hear it's uh, quite cool and interesting. <laughs> well, no, no, I oh, for me, I meant to say, uh, I when it happened to me, I, I was totally oblivious, like, I had to yeah. hear it from someone else. Ma Evans was one who told me, yeah, like, it's after the same, like, he's walking, yeah. the guy kept on going, like, ah, oh, bruh, I can just uh, walk you home. And I'm like, no, but the guys are turning off here. I'll be, I'll be fine. No, let me just take you home. I'm like, oh, where do you stay? I stay somewhere near that side. And then, funny and then he had to signal me. He's like, oh, Muka, wait a bit. We, <laughs> we go inside. <laughs> then I still had the awkward walk with him. So I'd we talk. Oh, yeah, but actually <laughs> my, 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 my encounter was like so strange. I felt victimized in a way, like, Nani? really? <laughs> uh, you know, it made me realize that uh, the smallest things that we, the, the silly comments we make about... Cat calling, right? Yeah. Yeah, you felt that way as well. <laughs> yeah, like, when, when the guy... I was like, whoa. So this, so is, this, this is what it's like. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> whoa. Now I know how they feel. Ah, I was like... I'm head out. And they were they were like four of them, man. What? Okay. Yeah, somebody I was once scared. made so somebody <laughs> once made the statement that uh, men are uh, well heterosexual men are afraid of being in the presence of of homosexual men because they're afraid to be treated the way women are. <laughs> yeah. <it's> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think I'll, I'll that's, believe that. That's an interesting take. So, no. so what? So what yeah. does that say about you? Mm. <laughs> what does that say about heterosexual men? Like, so, does in that moment do you realize how the women way, are treated? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. It made yeah. me a better person, even though it was <laughs> like, even though it was so weird. Uh, I actually feel we we're doing great injustices by making oh that girl is nice or something like that we we uh, no, okay, okay. oh, a compliment like a, a compliment. justifiable compliment you're talking about objects but things yeah, things like fine. cat calling yeah and then you're always on or coming on like, too strong onto somebody yeah. like they've clearly shown that they're not into it yeah you know? yeah i think on that on that on that i think it, for for us specifically experiencing that is i because i know these guys we try to be a bit better 
than what you would expect. So, we already know how <coughs> misbehaving friends or guys can can be. So, in terms of uh, women being disrespected, at least you experienced it first, haven't you? Yeah, was, that guy. <laughs> I, I that thought, guy. So this is what my sister goes through <laughs> yeah, on a daily basis. Yeah. Like, whoa. Yeah. Now, for me, both of the guys were were just like me, basically. Like, um, if a girl was to hit on me the way they were trying, I would be so cool with it. In fact, I would respect it somehow, because there was no object objectification. The the headstrong yeah. part. That's yeah. walk me home thing. That's yeah. because I'm a traditional kind of no, guy. A girl calls you like names yo you're fine no as in that's the thing i never oh. got that oh yeah yeah like that's what i'm saying it was they were like him. me yeah you know you there are more important things when you're interacting with people like mm. even people you're interested in in fact especially if you're interested in them the 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 usual thing that that thing um try to get on their good side thing mm-hmm. i get that do you you have to do it relatively mm-hmm. but you have to calculate it like for me if i'm going to get to know a, a new girl for example, I will, even if it's a weird place she's in, like a nude photography, as an example, and I'm, as yeah, you can I'm see, I'm very, I'm very <laughs> abrasive to it. Yeah. I'll try to understand it. I'll just be like, it's, it's a bit fascinating. I'll give examples of David D'Angelo and stuff like that. But in a way where I'm showing interest in that person. Other than nude photography, have you done it? Yeah. For yourself? <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's all about imagery, man. It's yeah. what you visualize. It's the like photo. We, we establish that we are visual people. We we see pictures in our... The photograph in the yeah. world. So it's all about that. It's, that's why I, I say me being a Christian is because it centers me in having... Uh, being conscious of the injustices I might do to, to my, others, yeah. to the, to the other person. So it centers me in that I am walking this road, but I am very conscious of you know, what I, 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 I like. Do. I like what you've said. Like, uh, many Christians don't even see that it's a, our faith itself is like a tool. It's a, it's a weapon, basically, yeah. if you think about the full arm of God and etc. No, it's just like a tool, like, and we decide to use it in ways that should be productive. Like, the way you're saying it, it's, it makes more sense. Why, why would someone be drawn away from the faith if you're using the tools to better them, uh, their life or yeah, their ideas? That's, that's, yeah, that's actually not the case, because I agree with her, mm. because at some point I felt excluded from the faith. In that it is we we use it as a weapon to divide and us against them yeah but most most there's this hierarchy yeah no you cannot do this until you are this you know but who determines the level of faith you're at oh yeah so that's 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 the question you you I mean, should yeah that's also like martial arts right like oh yeah, now now you get the brown belt yeah now you get the- who <laughs> Who who says oh you're now like a black belt? Oh, yeah, you you you're a black belt in Christianity. Or something. I know who does it. No, but the that's the thing for me. That's why. <laughs> ah, okay, you know I'm not gonna open this. <laughs> oh no! And, 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 and in closing, uh, I I follow you on on Twitter, and I notice that you're somewhat of an advocate for like women. Yes. Is, is that is is that correct yes. to to say? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, is that like a revolution that you're trying to like uh, be a part of, or? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah okay. Definitely. Because, yeah. because uh, it's been I guess ingrained. Yeah. Even even in uh, even in women's minds, there's so there's so many there's so many parts of me that you know is still I would, I would want to say old fashioned in some yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah. Like it's I still go back to that sometimes when you like when you judge a woman for how she's dressing it's like oh okay why is she wearing that <laughs> yeah you yeah, it feels yeah. off like like slacking back but yeah i know for everything there's a time and place yeah yeah so it's still it's like uh i'm 
conservative about some of the yeah, ideas yeah. of yeah, yeah. Or feminism. Like I'm, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm radical. Yeah, I was about to go way. there. Yeah. I was about to say, are you like an extreme feminist? But no. yeah. stop mansplaining. <laughs> But don't spread it. You have to. Don't spread nah. it. Oh yeah, nah, 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 nah. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold my arms and. Shave <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, my beard. Yeah. Men, men, no, men and women were meant to coexist together, and I believe at least the most parts equally. Mm-hmm. You know, when it comes to like, especially when just, especially when it comes to the to the family. You know, taking care of. Uh, the kids and also why, why should the same. woman be the only one with the kids at night doesn't yeah, make sense doesn't make yeah. sense and, and, and it's sorry to, to cut you sorry uh, I was on it did it oh yeah uh, as a man I want to apologize <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was women who didn't apologize oh yeah no oh, when, when, right, when right, men do it is that the myth so when men do it why we should be advocating for, for rights. <laughs> oh, As men. Yeah. 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 My thing is that because uh, because of the way things are, men have also put themselves at a disadvantage yeah. in, in many things, you know. You can't, you're not, in a sense, allowed to express yourself when you're feeling sad, mm. you know, when you're actually feeling actual okay. pain. Please, don't, don't say you're sorry. That's not attractive. You know. Yeah. 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 Like, you know, for the longest time, and, and I feel so ashamed of it, I felt like, you know, you also in the way that the way it, it, it's set up, like, we over hi, hi, we hypersex men. Like, we think that men only think about sex, and that's where it yeah. stops. Men don't have feelings, per se. Men don't feel like women. You think about men. things more than... I know. You probably think yeah. about it more than women, possibly. Yeah, and, more yeah. So we think but, about, like, Things like things we could actually get, like tangible mics. They only like cars, they only yeah. like wrestling, I've got sports too. and yeah. stuff. Mm. Yeah, but no, but everybody, each human is dynamic and yeah. nobody is really yeah. the same. That there are some quirks about men that are, are quite common ac- across the spectrum for women as well. And, you know, and yeah, so, so for men, like, because they've been, in a sense, trained to be emotionally stagnant. They don't know how to express themselves, <laughs> yeah. and they they can't talk to each other mm. properly, yeah. have a meaningful conversations. Yeah. you know, yeah. in 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 the in the pursuit of being, you know, the alpha male and everything yeah. like that, like yeah. trying to like no, nothing phases you and stuff like that, and you don't experience problems, but you have the highest rate of suicide worldwide. Yep. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. No, so, no, no. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So <laughs> so to so in the way that. The history has put you in that space where, like, you know, you also the, the fact that you are the heads of the family need to provide the food. Because mm-hmm. I've heard of men who, like, commit suicide as soon as, you know, they lose their job. Mm-hmm. They're not the forerunner in the family, that kind of thing. But if you, have, if you have a healthy setting where you know, like, it's 50-50, you know, I've got her back, she's got mine, and, mm-hmm. you know... We're, a balanced home. Yeah, a balanced home where the kids are... Sh- are, are, are sh- uh, like sure. can come to yeah. can come to dad when they have a problem, the and it's not just like you know only the girls can go to mom only the guys can go to dad it mm. can be you know mm. both ways. In fact, yeah. if they want, they can play bad cop good cop. <laughs> <laughs> like some of us yeah. are moms. So what what I will yeah. wear because so. feminism <laughs> takes <laughs> different <laughs> forms. Or, uh, any the, yeah, any, the, any idea can take world, yeah yeah around the world. Uh, I'm I'm guessing. In the Middle East, we're fighting for education for women mm-hmm. and, and everything. Here, we the fight. We, we are fighting for ending against uh, early marriages and mm-hmm. uh, early pregnancies and mm-hmm. stuff like mm-hmm. that. I don't know what your what form of feminism have you. Which side are you on? I just I, I, I want women to be safer. Uh, basically, like even. Personally, as a photographer, like, never mind that Lusaka has you know, some rate of crime, you know. A, a guy sometimes can walk by himself at night. Mm. He'll be fine. I can't. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm, a, I'm at more of a risk because I'm a more, let's say, vulnerable, you know, victim. Not if you walk around with a gun, pepper spray. <laughs> <laughs> martial arts skills. Pepper spray yeah. is, it, well, no, it's a taser that's illegal. I don't know about pepper spray. You know, I, you know, I tried to order pepper spray for someone. And yeah, it's a uh, yeah, I, no. I couldn't do it. So. Yeah, I think for women, it's supposed to yeah. be allowed. Yeah. 
I think because now we, we probably have to make yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 so, a very brutal way of no, we, we, we have a long way to go. We have a very long way to go. So it's not just like, you know, yes, we should have weapons to defend ourselves, but also yeah. like why can't we create like a general safer environment where basically a lot of these robberies are because people like, you know, don't have some of these things and now like are up to the extremes and that they have to steal from people they have to yeah. rob people and well, such behavior actually indoctrinates them to criminal behavior yeah so even if he's just been stealing to feed his family yeah just because he's been doing that he might be inclined to rape and stuff like that yeah just to go that a bit further yeah. just always go a bit further because when you when yeah. you're numbing your mind you really want to do more like yeah yeah, yeah exactly so when you when so when you have a society that's at least more or less equal, you probably have fewer rates of crime. People are generally safer, like men and women, you know, mm. be safer. And so, it I think to begin with the safety of women and yeah, basically yeah, safety of women and also recognizing like uh, many times people they don't realize they don't realize that women are human sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Relationships. Uh, yeah. I've yeah. dated a number of girls. Who like they'll tell me about the ex and then I'm thinking, why am I like this? Mm-hmm. Like guy drinks, you you used to beat me or you know yeah. such weird yeah. things and they're like abusive relationships. Like that. People mm-hmm. people do behave like this. It's mm-hmm. it's weird and when you're hearing it firsthand from someone, you just like, how how is it possible really, you know? Yeah, because some people grow up that way. Yeah, like, by yeah. example. Yeah, you know. Because that's, that's what they've been that's all they unconsciously yeah. shown all their lives. Yeah. Like, you know, their mothers or their aunts or whatever, they weren't respected. Yeah. They were probably treated as more or less commodity or just a space within the person and who just even cleans if, up. Even yeah. the emotional numbing. I think it yeah. contributes. Because yeah. if you're not able to cry about stuff, up, mm-hmm. instead of going for the, for the what, what, what do you call that? The worst thing, which is suicide, you decide to go into juvenile behavior. Mm. You know? It's, I think it's 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 connected. I think I've been getting yeah. ideas. Yeah. Let's start campaigns for man cry on the podcast. Man cry. Okay. Like men should cry. Like for a whole week it's, it's when be... you bump into your friend who's a dude, you just hug and cry it out. Isn't there like an international men's day on Valentine's Day? There's an international men's day in November. Is it November? That was that was last year, right? Yeah. But, but but there's like a men's men's conference men's oh, the men's yeah conference. yeah it's well, supposed it's, it's, it's a parody but yeah <laughs> so the, oh, the yeah. men just go out on Valentine's Day and like just hang out oh okay it's supposed to be a parody like uh, a verse or rather like <laughs> sorry it you know you know how you're supposed to be there for your partner on Valentine's Day but you're like nah I'm I'm gonna hang out with my bros <laughs> so, <laughs> we're gonna go out and just hang out and not. Yeah. Do the, the whole romantic date but thing. But I think we're we need more of that. Roast goat and have a couple of drinks and yeah. just hang out. You <laughs> as deal dudes. with your pain differently. I know people like you know play video games until like till morning just to like beauty. Get, yeah. But <laughs> but not anymore. I used to do it for escapism, but yeah. these days I do it for the experiential. Okay. Um, I actually uh, don't motive think to like le- learn something. I don't think playing games is that help. I know that people process things differently. Yes, no, I know. Yeah, people process like, things differently. I wash dishes sometimes when I'm trying to think or hmm. I'll listen to music. Let's be friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's like if I had a really bad day and there's something that I need to get off my mind. Yeah. yeah. But typically I hate washing dishes. Yeah. But so if I if I if I purposely take myself to wash dishes just to like clear my mind. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't I totally get that. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, cut short. Yeah. <laughs> like I uh like when, when that, that's mansplaining. You know what? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, you if, can if, finish, Lusa- yeah. if Lusaka was better, I'd, I'd probably take a drive to clear my mind. Yeah, uh, I yeah. took a walk from like six miles north of Lusaka to Kalimba Farm. That's what I do. Who? That took me like the whole day, and I was like burnt I love to the that. to wow. the brim. But 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 I, I did that to like get away from the noise because yeah. you know I was. You know, at a place where you know, yeah. I knew that if I stick around, something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. So let me just walk. Today. Yeah. And I cleared my head. Okay. Yeah, this yeah. Is you know, similar. I started off at like eight a.m. and got back home at like six. Burnt to the brain. But I know but it was worth it. Yeah. Yeah. When yeah. I'm upset. Uh-uh. You eat that food? I'm running from. Yeah. <laughs> I like being alone and just 
having food. Well, well, these days I just I just get stuff done. So it's like, oh, yeah. maybe I could like do a podcast with with friends, or I could code. I've been, it's coding for the most part these mm-hmm. days. Cause, yeah. yeah, that's. It's it's perfect for that. Which is what you want to write, reading or whatever. So I, I, cry. I, 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 I used to write in my diary. Oh, but, yeah. but, but I don't sure. I don't keep one anymore. But I probably I probably should. Sometimes I feel like uh, I'm keeping some things repressed every now and then. Yeah. It, yeah. Explodes. it explodes. Yeah, it explodes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Even draw. Even just writing. I used to draw. Yeah. Like when I was a teenager, I loved drawing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, I kind of lost it along the way. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Yeah, I, I used to draw to to escape as well. So yeah. yeah. But I used to remember the the raps we used to. Oh yeah, rap as well. Yeah, yeah that was like. My music, mind. just music. Anything yeah. creative, I think. No, but yeah. what we did was like very hardcore underground rap kind or, of. Or to escape. Yeah. So, like, so, so, so to make you feel more. Uh, yeah. Bro. Yes. More, <laughs> more, <laughs> more Can you picture teddy bear doing underground rap? Not really. It's <laughs> oh, like he's... the teddy bear in the group. The, the soft guy. The yeah, kind right. guy. You know? <laughs> but he comes from like, from like a hardcore rap background. He is the soft guy. I am? In fact, it explains the UFC and blood thing. <laughs> yeah, he's got... You blood, what? I'm going to study you. UFC, uh, mixed martial arts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I see. Okay. But he's yeah. abrasive right. to, that, into yeah. blood. Oh. Yeah, that, that thing is very technical. Yes, yes. We it's, know. It's, 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 yes. It's, it's an art in itself. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. Hey, yeah. oh, she is actually appreciating no, your, yeah. your UFC stuff, guys. Yes, mm-hmm. it is. It's a thinking man's game. It's it's, yeah. it's like playing chess. I mean, you get someone in like... It's like wrestling to me. No, it's not. It's totally wrestling different. Is yeah. mm, wrestling is acting. It, yeah. yeah. Oh, it depends on the wrestling. Yeah. It's basically acting. That's a yeah. that's a show. Yeah. That's yeah. not really like. Yeah. 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 WWE is fake, bro. But but like MMA, it's, 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 program. It's yeah. not. It's not supposed to be. There another chap here to support. <laughs> <laughs> you could create uh, one. No, I think it would cause problems. Just create an AI bot. Just that always defends you. No. Ah. Like your own personal Jarvis. Mm. Yes, Mister Mocha, you are right. Or Master Mocha. Ooh. But then that would suck. It would get played out eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'll change it to like Yoda. Say yes. Right, right, you are. Right, you are. You can be <laughs> improvs previously on Mooka's episode. Or I can surprise you to just do different voices. Mm. Yeah. 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 I actually yeah. consider that. That'll be that's sick. Like, so that's yeah. a bit old. Yeah. Those are great ideas. Good platform for innovation. Mm. I hope that. you're picking them. Don't steal ideas. Man, oh, ever since we started the video <laughs> thing, I'm starting to feel that stage thing. Well, what? Talking to the third, is it fourth wall? Fourth wall speaking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, oh, yeah. Breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. Yeah, breaking the it's fourth fun. wall. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it? It's not. Why? I'm usually, like, nervous every time we do this. So. He is shivering, actually. If you held his hands, you yeah. Yeah. This is, all this, this is an experiment. Yeah. Yeah, because we're all, like, we all suffer from anxiety and whatnot, like social anxiety. And that's so how it's introverts like, know introverts. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's like, yo, what can we do to like challenge ourselves and defeat said social anxiety? Yeah, let's let's get a bunch of people and just. Have, and I think this is the them. most flexible way. Like interacting <laughs> with people is one of the most natural. things. I do not like confrontations. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like it's totally <gasps> right. Yeah, actually, I remember I, you I, and me meeting the first time was actually pretty awkward because it was like uh, it was at, at the show, right? Yes, it was. And yeah. then and then I was done. Like I got off stage and I sat by the table, and you sat like across yeah. me. And then but I think I didn't just... know it was you at oh. the time. I didn't know that because of the mask. Look... Yes, because oh. of the mask. Oh, okay. Because I was like, I wonder what this guy looks like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah. I but I had like seen you before. Just that it was a very young picture of you. So but uh, I didn't. Yeah. Can I age that much? Um, <laughs> Well, he's actually it. gets into his old face. I don't think it's the first or second Comic Con. It was at the oh. Extreme Park. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, but yeah, but you guys performed in the. What happened to the other guy? The one, the guy with the afro, I think. I want to say afro, but he had some hair. The other guy who was singing. Oh, that other band. Oh, that was the other band. Oh, good. Yes. That was Justin. He's in. He's in Japan now. Oh, cool. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. Goals, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, goals, yeah. Goals. I probably shouldn't have said that. Why? Go, go. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he wants to keep it private. But yeah, like when you said Afro, I was like, I had an Afro as well. So I was like, are you? No, but you had something on. You had either a hat or. Oh, you had something on. Yeah. Beanie. 
Yes. It's, it's a trademark. It's like, yeah, if, yeah, I, if I was an anime character or like cartoon character, I'd be, yeah. I'd be that one guy with the beanie. Mm. Ed, 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 Ed. Was he was like jumping up and down? <laughs> no, he wasn't. Rolling. No, there was no jumping for Rolling. this one really. It was the other band, right? Like I was playing bass in it. Right? You're it? playing bass and then, but you also got, because I think he d- he did the first set and then after oh, that. Oh, then, then Stasis did. Yes. That was, that was one of the worst sets ever. <laughs> so just for people's yeah. no, but information. This, but this is the first time, I, that was the first time I saw a rock group. I was like, oh, oh this yes. is so cool. Yeah. yeah. My, my first experience was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, a junket, right? Yeah. Why not? Oh. Why not a junket? Why not? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah. <laughs> you have the snare drum. The snare and hi hat, like. Yeah, just. Yeah, yeah, yeah for random ones like yeah. this, yeah. Just we can still add the drum. And by the way, the... Joan Mack has been listening, man. Yeah? To the podcast? Yeah, he's been, like, liking. Shout oh, nice. out. Shout out. Yeah. How are you doing, John? We why should do, not? like, a remote uh, yeah, episode with him again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's been quite insightful. Do you know how long you've been talking? About an hour and a half. 30 minutes. Yeah, it's been two minutes. hours. Oh dear, my sister's gonna be mad at me. What time is it? <laughs> Six fifty. Yeah, I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> Any <laughs> last words for, uh, for thy Ethoniums? Oh, so you're doing that? Okay, Ethonians? for the people out there, Ethos podcast, Ethoniums. Oh yeah. We have to find a better like. It's fine. Well, it's not. I know Ethoniums. Sounds like a planet kind of thing, like yeah. Earthlings. You should do like comments. Yeah. Whenever yeah. they should make suggestions, they can send us a message on Anchor, Facebook. Anywhere. There's our marketing yeah. strategist. <laughs> the brains okay. in the group. Anyway, <laughs> last words. Uh, oh yeah, why did you call it ethos? Ethos. <sighs> Mocha. It was your idea, man. Yeah, but well, it was me, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, like, uh, just alluding to what Moses alluded to, I guess. Whatever. Like, uh. Just having that common ground and coming together as people that share um, common beliefs and common ideologies and values and that sense of like community and just trying that to like connection. Yeah, connect with people wow, and okay. try try to understand people and oh, I really I really like the name. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. Thank you. As I'm happy for I'm grateful on his behalf. I wish you did again, but yeah, but pretty much the yeah. incentive. And yeah. then this, the project, this one, the podcast specifically, is for people like you. Oh, okay. To give information or inspire yeah. people viewing or listening. And that's the key aspect. And then for us specifically, it's a <laughs> social <laughs> experiment. <laughs> yeah. It's all experiment. So thank you for interacting with this social experiment. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, last words, girls can be photographers too. No. Cool. Oh, sweet. hashtag. Hashtag girls can be photographers. Too. How would you promote that if it were to happen? T-shirts. Uh, <laughs> a march. Hashtag. I don't know. Like, there's, yeah, there's a fellow uh, female photographer who like I interact with every now and then, and I she had this thing on her shirt. Um, so it's photographer, but the her was highlighted. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, that's dope. That's sick. That's dope. I yeah. don't know. I don't know if she's like. If that's her brand or anything like that, I'm gonna ask her someday. But yeah. that would totally be an awesome. Do you know if you if you group? Uh, who, who are those people? Oh. Anyways, I'm thinking of events. Mm-hmm. There are people who can actually fund such events in terms of societies and communities, NGOs and yeah. stuff like that. If you had interactive ideas, like for example, yes, um, getting school kids from a number of schools and saying, hey. We have, we have these professional for, um, cameras and stuff who train you for an hour and then we see what you can capture for another hour and event is done really like that. Dope. Yeah, hashtag. Yeah, cool. and, and, and the yeah. other thing, the previous episode we had, we, we interviewed uh, a female photographer. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are trying to like create uh, an ambience of some sort, uh, trying to create a vibe where they have a space to express art and photography mm-hmm. they actually at it's it's back we oh. have them oh Kali i know them space. i know them yeah yeah, yeah. i think just one, one, of, one of them we used to go to church together oh, oh yeah yeah <laughs> 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 we get, we get along very yeah. well yeah. 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 yeah yeah that's that's the important part yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. nice awesome mm-hmm. it's so cool. actually yeah so I, I need to go talk to them a little more yeah yeah, yeah i saw them with those setting it up i was like i'd love to have a photo space like I think you should. Yeah, you should. Definitely yeah, should. In a mall? I can't imagine the rent. 
Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 a lots of space. it's just a small slot. Yes, it's well. small, but, it but it's, uh, well, it's still a, like a high end mall and it's still. I think it, it, it's one yet yeah, it's one of the smallest spaces but mm-hmm. yeah it's 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 probably still costing no, it, it, it should i don't think it should be less than five anyways that's it can be less than five this guy knows I, do, I, I was concerned because i was i was at east park like two weeks ago and it was closed no, was it, like, the, they open on saturdays oh okay. so okay. Mm, oh they made an exception for you that day Oh, that was not Saturday, bro. So, exactly, which that is, was it was a weekday, so I'm, so I'm saying they made an exception for you. Did you call them during the week? Or you just found them? I I just you just chanced them. We we actually just approached Maya and said, "Oh, we would like to do a podcast." Then. Maybe just for that day. Yeah, so it was an exception. Yeah, so that was actually they made an creepy. Exception. So I, I don't you were creepy. I felt like I was creepy. You were creepy. creepy. I mean, yes, you, you felt like creepy. creepy. Not because, yeah, because I was like, yo, we would like to do a podcast with you guys. I like what you're doing. Then. No. I was like, oh, okay. Can I know? Okay. I love that. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, no this was awesome. Yeah, this was yeah, great. Yeah. This was fun. So come. No, I would love to see your work. With Me you too. Guys. Oh, I, ha- I do have a website. Let's go. What's the yes. website? Photography. Oh, plugs. I yeah. knew that. What? What's the website again? Ines. Ines. No. She's dropping N-S. plugs. Ines. Ines. It was E. I know it's E, but the thing is that it's a uh, it's an expansion of my initials. If that makes sense, my name is Namukolo Siumbo. So my ah. name is N S. So N S. So E N. Oh, nice. E S S. Photography. Q. Ines. Dot com. Well. Dot my pixie set dot com. Right? My pixie set. Yes. It's oh, it's a, one of those sub sub. Yeah, yeah. Don't sub-sub. worry, we'll uh, we'll adjust <laughs> your project, <laughs> take it and put it into some other project. Anyways, <laughs> the domain of and your own. Twitter, uh, Instagram. Oh, sorry. Twitter, Chikashana. That's C H I double Q A S H A double N A. Facebook. I'm not there much, but it's my name, Nomukolo Siumbwa. Instagram, NS Photography. Um, I also have a personal profile there too. If you want to say, if you want to follow by me, uh, also Chikashana. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's about it, guys. Awesome. Yeah, man, I'm so full. I'm, I'm, I'm accept, accepting money for me to buy a second camera. Donations. <laughs> you have a patron. I wish I did. <laughs> I'm not a patron yet. <laughs> I, I I need to do a go GoFundMe as well. Yeah. Kickstart you. I think I think for that concept only, the one that you did there, yeah. that that sounds like something to back. For I patron. really I really like. <laughs> I didn't think the the way you exp uh, they explained and stuff that forest and yeah. your concepts. You're gonna the check it out, man. Yeah, it's on the national website. I put it up as a blog. Oh. Yeah, so all the pictures. Oh. Are mm. Mm. Evil nice. smile. <laughs> One of my favorite ones was where I white whited out her eyes. Oh, I saw that one as well. Yeah. It was all just sick. I didn't know it was you who did it because I saw what? I saw the pictures like prior to even knowing you. Oh, okay. So and I was like, this is sick. Mm-hmm. I, I thought it was for the movie that uh, a friend of mine starred in. When, oh. Remember when Walu's movie came out? Uh, what um, was Walu's movie called? There was another one about a mirror. Uh, yes, what, yes. The, mirror the, the, the horror, the horror. The, yes, that one. Something. I, I think it was the. I should have the portrait okay. something. Yeah. Mm. So I thought the person that did that did that the painting. Like like in tandem with, with yeah. the movie. So I was like, oh, this is sick. And then I was like, oh, then when when I uh, followed your your profile to like your website and whatnot, I was like, wait, she did this. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I really do need to go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm sure getting calls up there because I put it on mute. <laughs> So, uh, thank you very much for joining us, and this was the Ethos Podcast with, with M U K A Moses, right? What? No, it's not M U K A. I'm M U K A. I'm like you're Moses. Yeah. <laughs> and we had Nam Kolo, the photographer, and Jay behind the camera. Oh, oh and the weird guy at the back. Too mellow. Peace. <laughs>